birthday song copywritten? I we think know? it is. I do. Oh. Have. Well, I can't say it even Tuesday. I feel like that's cheating. I hey. feel like I'll still get in trouble. Hey, guys. Hi, everyone. It's so good to see y'all. How was your week? Hey, Ariana. I, re I looked up there, then I looked up here. Hang on. I wonder if I can do something with this. Um, I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone. I don't know how to do get rid of this. How do I get rid of you? Oh, here we go. Hang on. None. Got it. Yay! Now we're full screen to us. Let's see. Let's catch up on the comments. Hi, guys. Can you see me okay? I can't see us on our tablet. What is going on? Can you see us? Can you hear us? Are it's, we live? It's a mystery. Oh, we are. Okay, I see it. Hey, Ariana, I received the milk glass souvenir vanity set and I love it. Thank you for packaging them with so much care. You're welcome, Janet. Thank you for buying them and hey. supporting me and my mom. Hey, Lynn, Lena and Brigia. Hi, LaDonna. Hey, Arian. Hey, Brigia. Guys, Brigia was so kind enough to be our moderator tonight. So y'all are going to be racing Brigia tonight instead of Catherine. So Brigia is pretty quick. So Saddle up. Hi, Jet. Hi, Karen. Like the new setup. Is it different? Are we different? Maybe we're different. Let's see. Who else? Can't beat comfort food. Hello, hello, Michelle. Karen again. Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Cozy Curated Cottage. We're cousins. Did you know that? Get it? Yeah, I get it. Get it? Get it? Get it? Hi, Lynn. Hi, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Aww. Received my mystery box today. Okay, I gotta read this. And bravo. Everything was amazing. And the duck doll, my very favorite thing in the universe right now. Thank you for selecting the most perfect things for me, y'all. I was stressing about that mystery box because I never really did like a real mystery box before. And I was terrified it was gonna be garbage sauce. So I'm so happy. I kept checking my emails, Karen. I was like, did she email me yet? Does she like it? Does she like it? I was, I was stressing. Hey, you hello, hello. So quick disclaimer. There will be no tears tonight. None. You hear me, Kathleen? I hear you. There'll be no tears. So if you came to see me cry again, it ain't happening. And I'm gonna, there's also gonna be, sorry, my dog has to go potty. There's gonna be no mispronunciations. So if you also came to hear me mispronounce something, that's not gonna happen either. Actually, it probably will. It really probably will. <laughs> well, if you don't do it, I probably will. Yeah, we probably <laughs> will. It's a thing. And my mom was kind of sick this week, so she might be a little not as mommy tonight. Yeah, it was, you know, I, I, I was, and I went to the doctor, and they, they put me on steroids, and that that helped a lot, but the sad part was is that I, I couldn't do my Olympic um, ice skating debut because Ooh, of the steroids. I hate that for you. And I had, I had made, I crafted... Uh-huh. A new, <laughs> new colored leotard. Wow. And instead of using the sequins, I used vintage and antique brooches. Okay. And then I made a fascinator. You know, oh. a fascinator hat? Because when I was doing my whirly twirly things in case. Wow, you really put a lot of thought behind this. <laughs> if the leotard I, fell apart. Surely she didn't have this plan, did you, ahead of time? Or is this, you're making this all up off the dome. <laughs> so, if, so I don't know which one I would be more concerned about. The fact that she could just make whirly... this up or that she thought this whole story ahead of time. So so as I was doing my whirly twirly, so judges would notice that the leotard fell apart and they would be fascinated by my fascinator. I am disappointed. Mm. But um, mm -hmm. but I am. I'm looking forward to the uh, 26 Olympics. To 2026. 2026 Olympics okay. to try to try again. Well, so. you know you, you can't be in the Olympics if you're on steroids. Oh, I didn't even know you could yeah. ice skate. Hi, Yvonne. Yes. Hi. Yes. Please interrupt my mother. She's on quite the roll. She's talking about her Olympic debut in ice skating. I would have been fabulous. And then the next you, one, you I'll can be... barely walk sometimes, let alone <laughs> ice skate. But if you think about it, for the next one, I'll be like almost 70 years old. Oh, yay. 
artsy fartsy. I'm so glad you got your head base. Wow, you guys got your stuff fast. That makes me happy. Happy, happy. Speaking of, I ship on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you, um, I'm going to invoice within the next 48 hours. So if you don't uh, get your invoice paid by Thursday, then it will be Tuesday before I ship it to you. But more than likely, does she have a fever? <laughs> Probably. Oh, hey, Probably. Judy. Mother, could you let Hauntus in? I can. He's all upset. I, I have you. three dogs and I can't, I, they, they live in my house. So they're just going to be, Ooh. they're just going to be here. Okay. So I hope y'all like dogs. Hey, baby. We all have our dreams, Casey May. I mean, yeah, I never had heard my mom want to ice skate before, but that's all good. Do you remember we used to build ice skating rinks in your back? Okay, we're moving on. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the sale. I'm so excited to have you guys back. Don't bump the table, you're gonna give the people a concussion. I'm so sorry, it was my fancy ice skating move. <laughs> I just can't, this is too much already. I can't even go to rules. Okay, ru not rules, just kind of like things, fun fun little things to, to, to talk about. So, if you haven't purchased from me before, what I'm gonna need from you is if you do win an item, and you win the item. I'm gonna need for you to email me your name, first and last, your real name, that is, um, your YouTube name, your home address, and your PayPal email. And that way I can send you an invoice and you can pay it. And if you could pay it in the first 48 hours, that would be awesome. Thanks so much for that. Do give me about two to three days to invoice before you start to worry that I fell off the planet. I try to invoice in one to two days, but I always say three just in case something happens. Um, instead of having to email you and say something happened, just two to three days is the best, please. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, my email. If you could send your information to the dot, I didn't forget about the and the, the dot withering dot cottage at gmail.com. Um, we are not going to do just in cases yet. I'm not saying we'll never do just in cases. We're just not currently doing just in cases. And I'm still drawing my handy dandy numbers so that I don't get panicked as to what I'm going to draw next. We do, I have 25 items tonight. And mom, how many do you have? Um, I have a total of four, but we'll do one um, choice. And we're going to try to move a little quickly tonight because I don't want to keep you all too late. I know there's a lot of sales going on. we got to share the love, but we're going to do the best we can to have fun, but in a timely manner. Right? Right. 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 Yes. Right. Yes. And Bree Gia, like I said, is going to be um, moderating tonight. So thank, thank you so, you so much, so much Bree. Bree. You're my daughter's knees. Bees. Look, knees. Mom Karen says you keep on chasing your figure skating dreams. I will. That sounds so dangerous. I just can't even picture you on I ice. I can't. I can. I can visualize this. You can with the fascinator. Ah, I'm stuck. Would be. I mean, I would get the hand movements beautifully, and I could do the twirly whirlies. I know so it. So good. Oh, and guys, I have exciting news for you. So, um, I am building an office, like a real girl, big girl office, and it is done. The only thing left to do is paint, which I had a guy come to give me an estimate on painting on Monday, and he cold shouldered me. I don't know what happened with that, but he's coming back on Friday. Um, so maybe next Tuesday's live sale will be in my new office. It won't be like decorated or anything like that, but it will still be in my new office. That'll be so cool. will not it be cool? It will be cool. It's beautiful. It's very echoey at the moment. So we got to fill it with all my treasures and it won't be as echoey. Um, we are, oh, Kathleen, can I come there and we can take lessons together? Yes, Judy, I'm anticipating this. I will teach you everything I know. It'll take about 20 minutes. I have finesse. Oh, okay. She's got finesse. Maybe it's Maybelline. All right, we are doing some giveaways tonight. One person is gonna win all three items. Um, first thing is this little tiny pewter chair. I just thought it was so cute. I just really like small little stuff. So this is one of the giveaway items. The second giveaway item is this vintage shaving mirror. I'm not gonna show you yourselves, but it's really cute too and it folds up like this. I kind of just liked them together. Like, they're so cute. So I like those. And the winner of the giveaway will also be getting Mr. Salt 
in messy as paper. And this one has this cork, and this one she does have a cork, but my daughter may or may not have been playing with it. Maybe. We don't want to place blame. But the cork is now inside of her. She's pregnant with a little baby cork. So that's cool. So hey. those are the freebies tonight. And they're all going to go to one person. And in tonight's sale, you are going to have to purchase in order to win the freebies. Are there any other questions? Oh, I'm shipping from the Bodunks of Georgia. That's where I'm shipping from. Y'all. 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 Hey, Lena. So if there's anything else I'm forgetting, I'm so sorry if my Wi-Fi is terrible. That will also be fixed once I'm in my new office. The poor guy had to run the cable down my mile-long driveway today. He was not very happy with me I about that. I think it's two miles. But nonetheless, it is laid, and we have internet in the office, so I'm so excited. Kathleen, you crack me up. Oh, well, I appreciate that. As long, as long as I don't crack myself up in the eyes, we're good. Oh, we're still, how long are we going to go for this? this all is night? Thing, because I have plans. You're going to be ice, talking about your ice well, cafes since all I can, night long? Well, I was thinking that since I, I had to miss my Olympic debut, mm -hmm. I, I was, my next thought was maybe doing the Rockettes. Okay. So this is just going to be an all night trend. I can already see it coming. I, I would be fabulous. I don't doubt it for a second. Mother, mother is going to be drawing the numbers tonight. And I have all the items numbered 1 through 25. And these are corresponding. And she's just going to draw one and we're going to roll with it. I have no idea what she's going to do. My eyes are closed. They can. It's like on GM and they're like, as you can see, we cannot. <laughs> I love that. As you can see, we cannot. You um, haven't missed a thing, darling. Number? We haven't even started. This is our very first item. Oh, please, no, LaDonna. Don't read that comment. I want to see it. I want no. to see it. She wants me to dance. She might have said burlesque. I would be awesome at that, too. Okay, what number, Mom? 14. 14. But, 14. But, but, um, Here's your bowl, but I need the numbers first. Oh, oh. I forgot. I forgot. It's a oh, thing. Oh, okay. We're going to put this one aside. It's way too early for that one. Draw again. I say pass on that. We're breaking the rules. It's my channel. You little rebel. Judy says, you go, Kathleen. Chase those dreams and goals. I'm going to because I have goals. 18. I believe in you. Mom, you're bringing Okay, we'll just go with it, but it's fine. I don't know what I did. You're just today. drawing all the real good stuff. <gasps> oh. Right off the bat. I'm not doing it um, to torment you. She's tormenting I'm not folks. doing it to torment you. I'm, I'm just being You're just Vanna. what? I'm You're being just... Vanna. I'm being Vanna. I'm being Vanna right now. I'm the one holding this. That is... This was in my preview on Instagram. If you guys have Instagram and you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Not just like for the sake of following me, but I always do pre uh, previews of what I'm bringing to my sale on Tuesday evenings. And this was featured in my preview. Um... I don't really darn know much about this. I just know that I love it. I don't even know what time period this would be. You guys tell me. What time period is this from? You reckon it's the 30s? 30s? 20s? 40s? I don't really know. But this amazing shelf is going to start at $20. This is so stunning to me. It's like crescent moon with these little spooly bits right here. Now this is what I would say completely handmade. I guess I can't say for certain because I wasn't there when it was made, but and it has got this like rawhide string. It's the original string. It feels like rawhide. That's, that's legitimate. Oh, 20, Brigia. Did I say 40? I might have said 40. I meant 20, it's starting at 20. But you could start it at 40 if you wanted to, but it's got this really old little glass or plastic clasp right here holding this piece of art in and it is behind glass it does have a little bit of water damage as you can see but it is the original piece I didn't want to change it I wanted to keep it just the way it was when I found it because I love this I know it's a little different thanks Yvonne I know it's a little different but that's what I like so much about it is that someone made this and you can put all your little special trinkets on it. Now, it does have some dirt and wear because it is older and it's seen some things. But my 
golly, Miss Molly. I just love this. Mom, what do you think of this piece? You're gonna laugh at me, but, well, why not? But what I see is a little, like, figurine of Juliet. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. That is so that cute. Is... And this is actually pretty sizely, um, but it's not too terribly heavy, so I can't imagine, I will definitely ship it the cheapest way I can, um, but it's about 19 inches in length and 10 inches high. So it's pretty sizely. It would be pretty sizely on your wall. So you can see but it is so unique like I've never seen another one that's gonna be my slogan I've never seen another one but I think it is so pretty well, that's what one of the things I love about you so much is that you do find things that are so unique and I I went to a very peculiar place to get this piece so I, I'm certain you won't find another anytime soon but it is so pretty. And look at the little kids in the corner. Is that like their guardian angel? I'm just peeking through the window. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but it's so pretty. I just love it. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. Oh, that was something I didn't say. I count down from 15 to kind of help with that. So 15, 14. Did anybody say what year they thought this well, was? Well, she 40s. Like, okay, that's what I was kind of thinking. And Sheila said her mom had one. They're so, it's so pretty. 12. Sorry, I do that every time. Oh. 11, 10, Jeanette said it 9, too. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. I love this piece. I do too. The really little, little Romeo guy. I just think it's so unique. And y'all know that's what I love is unique stuff. Shall I put this here? Uh, maybe if you don't mind putting it on the on the kitchen counter, because if the dogs break it, I will cry. I see Karen Rogers. Karen, I adore you. Thank you. You're gonna love it. I hope you love it. I love it. See Karen Rogers for thirty-one. Thank you, dear. Congratulations. All right, mother. Oh. Putting aside of the no, nope, you're good. You're good. Okay. What you got? What you got? Number four. Is it gonna be something real good? Because you've been pulling some really good numbers. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Now, before you guys start bidding on these, we have some stuff to talk about, okay? So don't get trigger happy. Don't get typey happy on me. You are bidding on the lot of three of these, okay? We've got a Lefton November Angel. We've got the Lefton July Angel. And we have got the Lefton June Angel. Now you're not bidding a choice, you're bidding for all three. Now, they are going to start, don't bid until, I might as well tell you what's wrong with them before I tell you what you're gonna start at. This one right here, this is the, this is the, 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 the special ones. They, they, I've saved them. This one has had a broken halo and it has since been repaired, but really that's all that's wrong with this one. So not too bad, but her, her sisters have didn't fare as well. This one was completely broken around the mid mid section right here. I mean, for all in all pretty good repair, but as you can see right there, there's the crack, but from the front, you can't tell to be honest. And her halo is in excellent condition, but you can certainly see it on the back. She was cracked. She has her original left in sticker. And then we got Miss November over here who's had the worst fare of it all. She was also broken in half. Now I didn't I didn't do these repairs, but I did buy them like that because I still needed to save them. So these are gonna start at $12 for all three. For all three. So here's Miss uh, November. She's holding her little football. Her wings are in good condition, but on the back, you can see that crack. But just like her sister from the front, no problems. Like, I mean, she still has the problem, but she's hiding it well. You're hiding it well, ma'am. So from the front, looks looks really fine. Her face paint is in excellent condition. Her halo is in good condition and her wings are good condition. But as you can see, that is a, a pretty significant break. They have very sweet faces. And then here is July with her little ruby on her bow. And she has her original left-in sticker. 
and her face paint is also very 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 good and i love the the gold detailing on her wings and on her little skirt and we've got july which is when or no i can't read oh, i already messed up that was july but you but you didn't mispronounce anything this is june good old june and now she's the one that had the broken halo that's been fixed but honestly it doesn't it doesn't look that bad it really doesn't it just really doesn't and she is rose pearl from lipton so you're and yesley and i would love that Hi, Trudy. Trudy Briggs says I'm Trudy Briggs. Briggs. Mother, would you mind holding this? I would not. Hi, I'm Trudy, Trudy. Hold these, these pretty ladies up and count them down. And again, you're not bidding on choice. You're bidding on the lot of three. So I'm going to start counting these down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. And you guys are going to have to tell us if we're too terribly blurry and you can't see it at all they're, because we just won't know unless you tell us. Their faces are so precious. They're Don't all, break them worse. I'll they're cry. all doing this little side eye thing. It's so cute. I see Miss Lovely Lois PV. Congratulations, Hi, Lois. Hi, Cat Warner. Dear Trudy Briggs, I know my Trudy. Trudy, are you still coming to visit? I didn't know this. Oh, well, she might not be coming, so then you want there be nothing to know. Hey, day trip vintage, day trip vintage. Hello, Freddie Fines. Thank you, Bria. I right, guys, I am so grateful that Bria has agreed to help me tonight. That was just so nice. I look fine. Good. Thanks, Judy. That was so nice of you, Brigia. All right, mother, pick a good one. Pick a good one. I want to bring my people something good. I know you're not like my people, like I don't own you. That's not what I meant. I just uh -oh. you. you're my people, you know? Really? Okay. She drew her mom's minute. That was quite quick. That was quite quick. All right, girl. I'm going to let her do her thing. Just make sure you write it down right. So y'all yeah, be patient, you know what? Um, do you have any little tapey measure you're thinking me? I do, which one are you doing now? Well, I don't guess I need it for that. So, so what are the things that I do? You might have to stand up so that oh, you can I'm sorry. show it. Oh, for those of you that haven't, that weren't here last yeah. week, excuse me, we put a new thing in my videos. This is called Mom Drew, Mom's Minute, which means she gets her minute to sell something that she made because she's super supportive of me and I would love nothing more than to give her her minute on here to sell some of her amazing pieces of art. So this is her moment to shine. I'm sharing because she shared her womb with me. I appreciate that. <laughs> a womb with a boo. A, a woo. <laughs> I don't know that that would have been quite the view actually. That's not a good view. Oh my. You don't know what could have been named. <laughs> okay. But before, she, before I change my mind on this mom minute thing, you go ahead mom. So one of the things I like to do is I, well, I love vintage and antique, just like Ariana. And um, I, I love vintage and antique um, china. But you know, a lot of times you find it and it's broken. So what I do is I create necklaces. Um, and uh, I make the pieces, I, you know, I drill them and I sand them and I, put them together and try to make very beautiful things. And um, this is one, these are starting at 14. I'm sorry, choice. they're choice, these are choice. And I put them on the cloth chain. I just thought that was kind of a cool thing to do right now. I have sterling silver too ones, um, but I'm trying to show you in this little thing, you lay it down, hold on y'all. I may not be the cleverest thing. But this is a two-tier one, and the leaf matches the green in the top piece. Let me help you a little. Okay. And while Ariana's so showing So this it. one's kind of like an ivy leaf yes. piece of china. And then on the bottom, it's got a different piece of, a leaf from a different piece of china, a piece of broken china. And then she put it on this really fun braided um, chain. Yeah, the little piece. Um, this one is three little girls playing in a field. And then I have an Anne 
teak uh, crystal, which is from a chandelier on there. Um, and I love this one a lot, a lot, a lot. And again, I, I cut the china, the broken pieces of china, and then I shape them and, and... I'm going to show you guys about where it hits on me so you can get an idea of what... Thank you, Ariana. ...where it would hit on you. But it does have extenders, extenders on this part yeah. so that you can make it longer or shorter. But this is about just like the middle of the row right here. Look how that sparkles. And they are one of a kind. They are. I, I, um, I spent a lot of time making them, you know, um... I have to. Hi, Auntie Christy. I Auntie adore your Christy, face. darling. But I do, um, I have a machine that I can sand them with and then I polish them. And... Oh, and this one's got the little back of the piece of, of the china on the back. Yes. It yes. just says patent. I can't quite. Yeah, I try, I try, you know, I mean, there's some beautiful china out there with some beautiful illustrations on them, right? And I try. You know, to cut just the right piece out. And, and sometimes it, it cracks or it breaks. I, I love them. I'm very happy. You know, I, I make them. So I try to make things that I love making. So I think we'll go ahead and count them down. Yeah, girl. Okay, so we doing 15? Yeah, girl. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Here, you hold 9, 8, I'm invading on Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid in. So I am, um, this is the part where I get a little. I'll help you, Mom. Thank you, Ariana. I'll help you guys. My dogs never know what they want. They want in, they want out, they want in, they want out. We have I didn't, a. I didn't measure these at all. I mean, but they're both approximately, like, this is just a little bit bigger than an inch. Same we, thing. We have about an acre and a half of fenced-in property, um, like six-foot retaining walls. So they, they're safe, but they like to just go out there and frolic, and then they want to come in because they're cold, but then they want to go frolic again. I just can't with those two. I can't. All right, Mom, I'm going to put necklace blue and necklace green, and we're going to see what happens. All right, I see Lois Peavy at 27. Thank you, Lois, so now, much. Now, Miss Peavy, would you like the blue one with the three little kids, or would you like the green one with the leaves? Let me know. Let me know, or let my mom know. I rather do say the lag is quite laggy tonight. Thank you, Pamela. Pummels. Pummels. It's, it's, it's a little writing. She I'm messed sorry. up now, guys, not me. The, it, it, it's little print. It's, it's little print. Little print on this technology. It's just little print. Lois. Lois, are you there? The one with the crystal in blue. Aw. Thanks, Lois. Yeah, thank you, honey. I'm so grateful. And then I see Day Trip Vintage. My love, Day Trip Vintage. Do you have any interest in the green one for 26? Let me know. If you don't, if you were bidding for the blue one, no pressure at all. You just say, no thank you. And I will move down the line a couple more times. But if you would like a day trip vintage for 26, it can be yours. Getting Let those, getting those stones. Oh, that worked out well, Mom. Thank you, day trip. Look at you. I want you all to notice how wonderfully I got that little circle into the, the backing. That, that was... That was fancy. That was fancy. I was very impressed and actually, with myself. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. We're good. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. It means the world. I thought I meant the world to you. You do mean the world to me. There's only know. one world. I, I Lots know. of planets. One world. All right, go ahead. Draw, draw. Number 15. Mom, did you know that Day Trip Vintage was one of like my very first supporters? She's I so am sweet. really happy to hear Julie. that. Julie is so talented. She's the best. She's very clever and very creative and lovely. Okay. I'm kind of scared to do these because they didn't fare. I mean, these are different, but they're 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 
first cousins didn't do me very well at the last sale, but hey, hey, we're gonna go anyway. They're not crying and they are a souvenir. And I actually Googled how to say this before I came on here as to not make a fool of myself this time. Clovis, New Mexico. Huh? 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 These are a souvenir of Clovis, New Mexico. And they are marked on the bottom, PY Japan. Very good condition, just as good of condition as their onion, where they are, pears, their pear cousins. They're pear cousins. These are gonna start at $14. We've got salt and we've got pepper. Salt and pepper. The PY, pretty young thing. PYT, isn't that PYT? Well, I was just pretty young. They're four inches tall. They're in such good condition. Have their original souvenir stickle. But look at that face paint. They're so clean. And they're pineapples. <laughs> I love these kitschy things. It's anthropomorphic. Good word. Thanks, Mom. I'm okay. trying. I'm really trying. And I they have this like little dent right here for like their collars. Look at that. I like the bandanas. A bandana. I like how this one's like looking out the side of his eye and she's like, what you looking at? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? Stop looking at me. That's what I feel like they're talking about. But look, they have the same little noses as their, um, pair cousins too and look at the different mouths i definitely think this is like more than likely oh no they might be both girls but this one has more exaggerated eyelashes than this one but they're so daggum darling and they're big they're big they're nice Sally, I, like. I learned so i learned so much from ariana she just fascinates me I just, oh i just love how your mom looks at you when you're I, talking yeah she's like she's still talking no it's that not. girl ever shut up i'm just no, kidding i just i she just knows so much and i i learned a lot all right and look at the the hand painting right here i didn't even realize that so pretty okay i'm gonna go ahead and start counting these sassy pineapples down 15 Oh, 14, <laughs> 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, oh, 1, 1. Bid in. Bid in. I, love, I like how Nicole J said and how she genuinely laughs at her jokes. What, am I not funny? <laughs> she just laugh at my jokes because I'm her daughter? I thought it was genuinely hilarious. She cracks me up. Who, me or um, Nicole J? Well, Nicole J made me laugh, but you crack, I mean, you know, you crack me up. I'm hilarious. You are funny. You said, like, there, there was this one video you did where you said, see this pretty doll? I'm gonna rip her head off. Oh, <laughs> mom, you know what? I did the wrong number, but that's okay. What do you mean? You drew 15 and I did 16, but now we're 16 down. Oh, but now see you. Deb Lepley, you little mm -hmm. sweetheart. You're missing with my mojo. No, I gotta do this one now. Oh, now we're doing 15. No, yes. <laughs> Stop. She said, no, you are a funny girl, but your mom just adores you. Thank I you. I do, I do, I like her a little. I do think I'm hilarious. I'm funnier. You just can't let me have anything, can you? No. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, Michelle. I hate that. What happened? She said we make her miss her mommy. Baby, I'll be your mama. She'll be your mama. I'll be your mama. I'll, I'll share. I'll share. Okay, this one, number 15. We're just going to go ahead and do it because, like, I have it right here. This is pretty nifty. This is going to start at only $8. This is a Dragonware cup and saucer with very heavy Moriyagi. I do say Moriyagi instead of Moriage. That's just me. I think like, but I'm obviously no grammar expert. But I just it? think Moriage is more of like a, like a French, like you would say that for French. And I think Moriyagi is more of a Japanese. I don't know sounding what that description. Is. Okay, mother, do you see this thick, three D work on there? Raise, raise. Yeah, that's Moriyagi. So here it is. Look at that, it's gonna only start at $8. And on the bottom it says hand painted, made in Japan. No chips or cracks, it's got its original beautiful gold rim around it. And then he, here's the little, the little, the little teacup with the dragon, look at those eyes. And it's so fine, like it's so 
thin that it just is crazy to me that it still exists. But the reason why I picked up this piece and why I love this piece is so much because I'm always looking for these and they are getting harder and harder to find. This is a hidden geisha. Do you know what a hidden geisha is? I do know what a hidden geisha is. You know what a hidden geisha is. Okay, so on the bottom, it just says Japan, right? You can't really see anything. It just looks like Japan. But when you hold it up to the light and you're drinking your tea from it, I brought a little flashlight. I hope it doesn't blind you. How am I getting? There you go. Do you see the hidden geisha? So when the light hits the bottom of the teacup, when you're done with your tea, you can see this beautiful geisha. Um, it's like a lithophane at the bottom of your teacup. So when the light's off, it almost you barely can see it. So if you don't hold it up to the light, it just looks like a standard teacup. So if you ever come across these dragonware, always hold them up to the light and see if they have that lithophane. Because on the bottom, to the naked eye, you would never know. But under the light and head up to the sunlight, and look at the detailing on that. You can see her eyes in her eyebrows, in her lips, in her chin, in the ribbon in her hair. And it's all just done with porcelain, bone china really. And this is so thin, like do you see the light? <laughs> Actually. <What? laughs> Crouching tiger hidden geisha. Do you see the light come through that? That is how incredibly thin and fragile this piece is. And the fact that it's still here, unbroken after all these years and usage, I'm sure it was used. Um, it's just astounding to me, but look at her. I can't believe that that's not painted. Like that just looks like paint, but it's not. It's it's carved into the um, into the bone china, which is just amazing. And from this angle too, you can seriously see how absolutely thin this porcelain is, but I just love her. And then again, I'm gonna show you one more time before I count her down, the exterior, because that is nothing to ignore. This is some very fine detailing. And the amount of time it took someone to do this is really quite amazing. So, and then look at the gold um, right here, that heavy gold. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, Don't break it, mother. My word. But I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, oh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 7, 6, <laughs> 5, 4, 3, Two, one, one. I've seen these, but I have to tell you, they they never get old. Like it never. But the geishas, they're just getting harder and harder to find. Well, I mean, I have no. I, I, I'm sorry. I need to. Say no, whatever. you've seen the dragonware. I've seen. What did they call it again? The litho paint in the bottom of a cup. Yeah. I, I've seen that, but not not a geisha. I've never seen a geisha. They're really. It's, it's so fun. It's I so, love that. It's, Amazing. I see Deanna. I'm always surprised that someone said, I know what Travis. I'm going to do. I'm going to put a geisha at the bottom of a teacup. Well, it's just so sweet because when you finish your yeah. tea, she's like greeting you like, would you like another cup? It's just so wonderful. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love very it too. pretty, very pretty. Draw away, ma'am. Thank you so much. If I didn't say thank you, Deanna <laughs> Travis. Deanna, congratulations. And thank you to everyone who bid. Thank you so much. Number five. Number, you're doing good mixing up the numbers tonight. I'm proud of you. I'm proud Thank of you. you. Now, this one is just going to be a set price. I don't do that very often, but I did bring extra things tonight, so I didn't want to keep you all here all night as much mm. as I would love to because I just love y'all. Oh, you're Trudy's friend, Deanna. Oh, Deanna. Thank you, Deanna. Hmm. Thank you so much. And thank you, Trudy, for bringing her along to the party. Okay, this is gonna be a set price. Look at this daggum postcard. It's a baby chicken baby bunny party. They're coexisting. I don't know if they're like one family. I think they are. I think like the mom's the chicken. I'm not really sure. But it says best Easter wishes and they're having dinner at the dinner table. The little baby chick. Baby chick, baby chick, mama's serving eggs. That seems weird. Yeah, I'm not real comfortable. No. Why would the mom <laughs> serve the baby's eggs? Here's your sisters and brothers. Bon appetit, but it's cute. That's very peculiar. 
Uh, oh, and then here, Mama Bunny is feeding Baby Bunny egg. There's some like cannibalism going on. Sometimes Thank you, Auntie Chris. You don't want your chickens to eat their eggs, and if they do, then... but what about a bunny? Well, I'm, but why couldn't a bunny eat? Okay, them? and then on the back it says made in Germany or printed in Germany. It was not posted, but it was inscribed. And it says, Miss Beebe from Mama and Papa, 1910. It is sweet. And it's gonna come in this um, plastic sleeve. Yeah, don't feed your children your other children. That's the lesson of tonight. But still really cool. I love the colors. <laughs> still very bright, vibrant, the vibrant. And look at the bow around the mama's neck. But anyways, this is gonna be a flat price. This is gonna be $12 if you're interested. So if you're interested in this piece for $12, just be the first one to type in. Well, I'm gonna go with, um, what's the, what's the, what do we say? What do we say? Intention, okay? Cause I'm pretty sure Judith wanted this. I was gonna say put in number five, but Judith, if you wanted this for $12, um, just put in number five real quick and it's yours left. Okay, I see Susan S. I'm so sorry, Judith. I think as much as I would love to give it to you, I think that the fairest thing would do to do is to give, in, give it to Susan S. Um, but thank you so much, everybody, for your for your putting in the numbers. Enjoy your cannibalism postcard. Aww. I love it. Chickens eat chicken eggs sometimes. Do they? Sometimes we don't. I have chickens, and I've all told you about my rogue rooster but th they do sometimes i mean you don't want them to because that's not what we're doing that's cannibalism well th there's it's cannibalism there's, there's things like a lot of people take the shells up to the eggs and and, and let them I'm dry gonna out i'm gonna put this back in there let them dry out and then and then they grind them up and can feed them to their chicken for calcium i, I don't do that my mom has chickens did y'all catch I, that oh sarah they're cute 10 I love my girls and my, my rogue. He jumped over my fence. Your rogue rooster? My rogue rooster, pretty boy. He's a scound girl. Okay, so this piece is a little out of my comfort zone. I don't know what. Well, it's, it's a little out of my comfort zone because um, I don't do a lot of glassware. Particular. I do glassware, but I don't know. I'm kind of really particular about my glassware. But this is a stunner, okay? This is Northwood Sprig Lattice opalescent syrup or cruet and i don't know if it's going to show up on camera um this is going to start at 12 dollars, but up here is a it's so opalescent like so opalescent like it's you can see straight through it it's this creamy opalescenty white iridescence coloring and then it's got that lattice work and that's in the glass okay that's part of the glass that's not added on after or anything like that like it's not paint it's the opalescent lattice swirl work inside of it and then on the exterior it's got even more glass detailing in between all of these cracks it's got these little like rivets and then all around here it's got this stunning detail like through here i don't know if you're going to be able to see it and then the bottom look at that bottom does it glow i think i tested it but let me double check i want to know does it have is that what do they call that i'm going to mess this up i don't want to pronounce it wrong the, when they blow the glass and it leaves a mark at a the bottom mark pa say again pontal pontal does no it's pontal. completely shaved down I mean, you can see where it probably was, but it's not. I don't know if this was hand blown to a mold or not, Mom. I couldn't say for certain. But the handle is so well done. So and I just, I wish you guys could see this in person because it like glows in and of itself. Like it's just so iridescent and it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. And like I said, it is Northwood and it's called Sprig Lattice. But, oh, and look at the detail. I wish you could see the details on the glass but it's just not going to show up enough on camera oh it's so pretty but i'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down it would be so cute for your syrup on your pancakes i see Ooh. it i haven't put a flower in it Ooh. just a pretty flower so it's so cute no i don't believe it's fenton i'm pretty sure it's northwood but i'm gonna go ahead and start counting it down 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, you're a fast learner, 10, 9, 8, 7, no, Miss Petey, I'm not six, using just in case, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bit in. Yes, Auntie Christy, if you buy it, you can see it in person. That There's that beautiful true. Auntie Christy. Is that your belly or mine? That was my belly. Thanks for calling me out. My husband made her eat a real spicy pickle. It was funny. It just wasn't. It was funny. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, there, uh, okay. So, Michelle, there isn't a stopper on this piece. This is just how it is. It doesn't have a stopper. It's really very lovely. Can I see the bottom? Oh, Arianne, you were so close. Pumpkin. That was your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even eat a spicy pickle. It was, Thank you, Lois. It was, I like hot food. I like spicy food. I, I, yeah, not that pickle. That was, I tried to tell her, you know, I told her that the pickle was spicy and my husband said it wasn't. And would you guess who ate it? My mom. So what does that mean? She believed my husband over me. No, 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 no. That's, mm -hmm. not, that's not true. I, I trust you both, but everybody's spice level is different. Oh, no, no, no. So, when I said cannibalism, I didn't mean the bunnies. Like, right here, the chicken, the chick is eating the egg. Like, the chick is eating the egg. And then mommy's serving the chick's eggs, too, not just the bunnies. The bunny is eating the egg, yes, but so is the chick right there. So, you, what you're really saying is, is that postcard... Just, just slurping away at his little baby brother or sister. So, that, that postcard could be used for, for Easter and or Halloween. Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah, seriously. But no, yeah, that baby chick right there is definitely drinking an egg, so. But yes, the bunny's not a cannibal, um, but this this little chick right here is. And mama's serving up her baby, so. That's, that's a little, that's a little curlier. But I still really, really like it. <laughs> I do. You don't make I me do. snort tonight. <laughs> do it. Okay, go, did you already draw? No? Okay, I can't remember. 20. 20. Okay, this is fun. Oh, you're fine, dear. You're fine. I probably said it wrong. No, no worries. I mean, I guess that would be quite the scandal if their mom was serving dead bunnies. That would just be very traumatic. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I dropped the doohickey. What's wrong? I just think that everybody's having fun with your cannibalistic... Bunnies. bunnies. No, the bunnies are cannibals. The chickens. the chickens are. See, you're the one that confused the people, not me. This item right here, it's going to start at $16, but you're getting a couple of things with this, okay? You're not just getting the thymus, but this is a very cool thermos. I love this thermos. I love the white bottom. I love the very Art Deco detailing on it. This is thermos right there. Perfectly clean and usable. If you decided to do so, you could use this thermos. But I was gonna save this for, um, I'm planning on having a St. Patrick's Day sale. And I was planning on saving this for the St. Patrick's Day sale, but I just thought it was so daggum nifty, I wanted to bring it tonight. It is quart sized, right there. But like I said, it's starting at $16, but this is what else you're getting. So you're gonna get, oops. This old St. Patrick's Day uh, postcard from 1916. It is written on on the back. Guess how, da, 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 I can't read that. The handwriting is so fine. But it was posted in 1916. And look at the front. I love that it just says St. Patrick's Day in big old letters right there. But, the reason why you're getting this with this is because Ariana was using her brain part two, and I want to show y'all another way I display my ephemera. Get said color matching seasonal thermos. Then get said matching seasonal postcard. Place postcard on thermos. Get teeny tiny magnet from Ariana. Clip on instant display. So cute. How cute is that? You could use this for your Christmas cards. You could use this for your birthday cards. But this just covered in St. Patrick's Day postcards all the way around. Super, super fun. With a little, a little person sitting on top. Yeah, you could put stuff on top. But I just love this because it's a fun way to add height to any display. You can move it just like with the, uh, the receipt spikes. 
You can move it higher and have your smaller St. Patrick's Day decor below, or you could stack several, like three probably on top of each other, all different kinds of things like that, but it is certainly magnetic, so you don't have to just use this magnet. Any magnet you have at home will suffice. But look at the picture, the colors, because see the greens, how good they go with this thermos. Hey, this, this little piece is not for sale, but I have to. What? Look, 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 oh. look. Yeah, you could put a little thing on top. Don't break her, I love her mother. She's beautiful. And I like that oh. the white of the postcard kind of pops off the white of the lid. I just think these two pieces look really, really good together. But I'm gonna go ahead and start counting these down. You will be getting the postcard. Why did my voice get so high? The postcard? You'll be getting the postcard, the little magnet, which really doesn't make a difference um, like with the graphics and you can put it somewhere like on that, you know, where you won't really see it. Um, but you're gonna be getting the postcard, the magnet, and the thermos. So I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. 15, I almost counted from 30. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, we can't count too fast, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I'm practicing my ice skating moves. You and your ice skating. I'm going, I'm in it. Yes, and if you guys do decide to use this idea, I'm sure I'm not the first person in the world to come up with it, but I'm, I didn't see it anywhere. I just do it in my head, but if you do it, and you post a picture of it on like Instagram or anything, tag me in it. I would love to see what you do with the, it. I think you're the first person in The I first like person it. in the world. I see Samantha Richer for $34. Congratulations, Samantha. Thank, Thank you, you Samantha. everyone for bidding. I think it's a very cute idea. Thanks, mom. And I do want to take a poll at some point, um, maybe at the end of the night. Or maybe now, I don't know. How do you guys feel about just in cases? Like I know it's my channel and I know I can do it, you know, how I feel is best for me and you guys, but I do wanna get your opinion. I know it's like some people are for it, some people don't really don't like it, um, but I just, it's hard for me to know how bad the lag is. So I don't know, like, can you do Okay, Deb likes it. So we got one like the just in case. I'm not opposed to doing just in case. It's just my first couple of sales. I wanted to kind of keep it. Um, I thought my, oh no, Joanne, on my end, I see you right after the bed end, right after it. Don't like just in case, don't like just, okay. So we're not gonna do just in case for now. Sorry, Beth. Um, just because that seems like most people are not for it. I'm not saying I'll never do it, but like as of right now, we're just gonna keep it the simple, simple way. It would, I mean, for me. It would uh, confuse you? Well, everything confuses me, so yeah. Well, you're a professional ice skater. That doesn't confuse me, because I'm so awesome. You've been on that. the ice since you came out of the womb. I, and you know. Maybe, maybe next week. Hey, did you guys know I have a sale next Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, come to it. You're not gonna be here. I'm not. My mom's having soy joys. It's, it's a minor surgery. It's all good. It's a very small minor surgery. And she she's not you're not having it on Tuesday. You just can't be here. No, I'm having it on Tuesday. In the morning? Yes. Okay, but she didn't want me to take her. It's not like a surgery surgery, right? Like you're gonna go in, they're gonna do it, you're gonna they're, come they're, out. They're, they're they're doing some some procedural things for a bigger surgery. But you're gonna go in, they're gonna do it, and you're gonna come out. I, yes, yes, I'm gonna go come home, but it takes like three days to recuperate. Three, but four I mean, days. but you're gonna be okay. Like you're not like, are you going under? No, I, I'll be drugged. But you're not going under. No, not this okay. time. Okay, so she told me not to take her. I mean, I would. Sorry, guys, I love mm -hmm. y'all, but I would miss my sale in a heartbeat if my mom needed me. No. But she asked someone else before she even told me she was having it. So, um. So she won't be here next But y'all could send me some good thoughts. That'd be cool. I, you know, but I do have somebody else coming, hopefully. Who? I can't tell you. I'm cheating on you. You'll never know. I'm not happy about this. You're having surgeries. Who's replacing me? Are they we'll wearing an ice skating outfit? We'll have to see if they're better than you. If you're welcome back or not. I don't know. We'll, well that's... See. That hurts me Oh, soul. they'll miss you, Mama. See, I was afraid no one would come if you were gone. Oh, that's... that's... But then she scheduled her surgery on a Tuesday. So it's who fault is that? that be helped? Whose fault is that? Number 19. I can't help it. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I don't like it because I enjoy my mom. We you, you could still do my mom's minute. You could be mom. No, it's your minute. Well, maybe my replacement might... Oh, 
Hey, mother. Oh, I wonder if she wants a minute. There you go. There's your hint. It's a girl. You're going to share my minute? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm going to share all your minutes. All Every minute you have, I'm going to share it. I'm just kidding. She said there wouldn't be any crying tonight. This, these, the pair, the two of them, are going to start at $16. Two little pixie people. You're not bidding for choice. You're bidding for the pair. You're going to get, I got to block the ring light a little, Mom. I'm not trying to stand in front of you. I don't, it's fine. Look at him. He's pondering something. What you pondering, little buddy? Cute. Um, He is uh, like three and a half inches tall. But he's a pondering. He's a pondering fool. They're in excellent condition. Oh, I see that and look. Oh. That gum. Oh, baby. He has a chip right there. I didn't see but that. But you know what you could do with him? Huh? For all the different holidays, you could put those little tiny pom poms, little like red ones for Christmas, little green ones for St. Patrick's Day. There you go. With him on his little feet. Yes, but there is one yitta yitta chip right there. I didn't see that. So you're getting, these would go good for St. Patrick's Day. They would. If you could, just for every different holiday for Easter, you could do pink. And then we have laying down man on his little hands. Those are very cute. And he's long. How long are you, sir? Four inches. He's four inches long. Oh, ice skate. <laughs> good one. If you, if Auntie Chrissy says tip, if you switch to top chat and then back to live chat, it will update the order it shows on Ariana's end since you'll see your comment first and not in the same order as others see it. I did not know that, Auntie Christy, and that yeah, is Yeah, you good should to know. always be in live chat. Because I, yeah. Look at them on the little flame. That would be great for St. Patrick's okay, Day. What, what about my pom-pom idea? Yeah, that would be cute. You could put ribbons around their necks for holidays, but I like them because they're plain white, and y'all know I hate the color white. Yeah, just can't the stand she didn't the like stuff. The but they're so cute. I saw them and I immediately snatched them up because I like the super kitty pixies, but I also really like these because they are. You can keep them out all year round. They're all year round pixies. But I'm gonna start counting this sassy pair down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Bid in. God, we're good. We're so good. We're so fun. We're so, well, I didn't say that. We're not fun. We're just, no, we're not fun. We're just, Actually, we're, we're boring. We are boring. We're boring. Brigia, thank you so much. I adore you. You're the bee's knee. I see Joe and Post for $22. Thank you, Joanne Post. Thank, Thank you, you for Joanne. everyone who bid. That's just so fun. It is. I love Tuesday nights. Like, if I ever can't do, I mean, I've only been doing it for three weeks. Yeah. But if there's ever a time where I can't do a Tuesday night, I think I might cry. Well, uh, I mean, really like, enjoy this. Like how I will be next Yay. Tuesday night. I'm so happy, Joanne. I will make sure, what was that, the Pixies? I'm gonna wrap them extra, extra cute for you for being my first time, um, my first, your first time buying with me. Did you guys see on my Instagram how I had 100% positive feedback on eBay? Not one negative review, I don't even know how that's possible. Oh, you were gonna do it, honey. No, I was just stirring it. I was just stirring it. Is it a good one, Mother? It's a nine. It's a nine. It's a boy. <laughs> have you ever seen that commercial from back in the day? He didn't have enough money to pay for a payphone call. And um, his wife had a baby. And you know where you can leave your name? Like, John Walter is calling for you. You can do that. And then they can have the option to pay. You know what I'm talking about? He'd be like, hey, this is had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> you remember that? Hey, it's had a baby. It's a boy. Number nine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I don't. I had a baby. Watch your head. Oh, I didn't hit my head. Okay, this is going to be another straight claim. I love these. I have two sets of these. This is just one set, but the other set isn't available tonight. Look at it. It is an elephant. Okay. Ah. And do you know that was very good, Mom? Thank you. Here is like the real thing. Do you guys know what these are? I'm gonna see who says it first and then you win You win all the prizes. I no. am. I'm gonna guess. 
You get this one. The, the little seal with the ball. Let's see if anybody knows. Okay. And then you get the lion. He has a little hole. Wine stop. Jane Shell, you are incorrect. <laughs> Could you have said that a little nicer? Jane Shell, darling, you are incorrect. No, you just don't say. <laughs> Jane, Jane Shell, it was yes, a good ben. guess, but no. <laughs> ben, these are to hold your birthday cake candles. So they're silver plate. And you would put your birthday cake, they're little, little, teeny, tiny holes the size of a birthday cake candle. And then you set these on your birthday cake. How fun is that? So like if you have a, a child or a grandchild for their first birthday, this is something you can keep forever, like to put their little birthday candles in. And then you, um, and then you can keep them and give them to them. And you could use them every year if you wanted to. I just think they're so cool. Cake yeah. toppers. Is she the cake toppers? Yeah, they're cake type Jane toppers. Chell, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. I didn't if she to. did, you let her know because she needs to fix her face. Fix your behavior, woman. No, I'm just kidding. These are going to be a flat right, a flat price. I'm going to yes, give you the cake. price and then I'm going to give you the number, okay? So if you're interested in these, they are $14 and they are number nine. And you're going to get all four. The lion, the gorilla, the seal, and the elephant. They're just so... Cool, I love them. They're very cute. Um, I would need oh Noah's Ark. That's so mean. Don't talk about you like that, Michelle. But it's really she funny. Say? She need all of Noah's Ark for her candy. Oh, Michelle. That was really funny though. It was funny, and I, 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 Jane, I feel bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah, you tell her. I'm she sorry. said no. You. She said yeah. You hurt her feelings. I'm sorry, baby girl. I'm so sorry. She said that her feelings are very hurt. I'm sorry, honey. And that she's never coming back to our sale. Don't, don't do it. All did, your what fault. was 19, please? Do two white pixies. Boom. 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 Mother, would you like to draw again? I would. You really need to watch what you say to my friends. I didn't hear on out. I'm, I really am sorry. I didn't mean it to sound like that. I meant to say, I'm, well, how would they do it on, on Jeopardy or something? You just go. No, not yet. I don't see it yet. You don't call someone out for being wrong. You're like, so and so, so and so. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I treat y'all like I treat my children. And it's it's wrong. Nope. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You're I'm wrong. wrong. I'm just uh, kidding. I swear to you that I will learn from my mistakes. It'll never yep. happen again. Don't worry. I'll You're wrong. wrong. No. <laughs> what do you think? I've heard that all my life. You have not. I have always said, you know what? I think you're right. We That's just funny. did a pixie. Are we going to do the next pixie? Why'd you have to draw the next pixie? I, I, don't, I don't know. She drew the next pixie thing. You guys are going to love this. I freaking love it. It's made from Acme, China, which is funny because it's made in Japan. So. <laughs> and correct me if I'm wrong. Is that not Norcrest? Which is confusing because I feel like that's the Norcrest symbol, but then it says Acme China. So it says Acme China, made in Japan, Norcrest. Fascinating. So fascinating. Look at this. What do you have to say about this piece, Mother? They're just having a grand old time. It's really cute. Look at this planner. I love it. <laughs> what? You don't know why. I do. Look at this. Legs, the elf's legs. Yeah, I'm getting there. This is so cute. It is so cute. <laughs> this is gonna start at fourteen dollars. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Look at him straddling this tree. They're best friend, and the tree is like this really old tree. It reminds me of the giving tree. Like this is the giving tree, and this is the elf. <laughs> and first he wanted to eat his fruits. And then he wanted to build a house with his limbs and all the things. But look at his little elfy feet. And he's so happy. And he actually has quite a lot of his original paint left. And it is all cold painted. So that's quite astonishing, really. And same with the tree. I mean, look at all the paint left on that tree. And I'm pretty sure the tree is cold painted as well. So that's pretty amazing. Inside is extremely clean. And they're just the best of friends. <laughs> 
Your sister. Look what your sister The wrote. tree lost its dentures. You know, I was trying to figure out what it looked like, and that is quite, that's a very good, um, a very good explanation. What did my sister say? <laughs> In the famous words of you, maybe it's not what I said, it's just. <laughs> you said it. It's just how you said it, yeah. I'm going to feel bad about this. But look at him. He's so cute. And look at his little tongue. Well, it's not his, I don't know if it's his tongue or his mouth, but just. It's so cute. Are you, you're the pixie? Yes. So I'm the tree? Yep. Okay. Your nails were very sharp. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very sharp. It's just a bad night. But look how clean it is. And y'all correct me. Is this Norcrest? Did someone say? I need to know. Is that the Norcrest symbol? Lois has probably painted in Japan. Let me know. Let me know. But it's all in the same. It's like China, Japan, Norcrest. All in the same colorway, he, he which is so like, funny. He looks like he has seen things. The tree? Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he is a thing. I don't even know, but he's so cute. Okay. I love how he's holding on to the tree, though. I know. They're best of us. Seriously, if you like the giving tree, my daughter loves... I'm drawing a blank. My daughter loves that author. We have all the books. Light in the Attic. All those. Sidewalk. All those, but I'm drawing a blank. The 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 author. I can't think. Of but that. I, I this would look so cute next to that book, The Giving Tree, with this. Adorbs, adorbs. Well, well, you could use that as a cup, or is it? Would you call that a planter? You could put your dentures in it. <laughs> Mind blown. <Boom! laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. <laughs> Silverstein, yes, that's correct. That's my daughter's favorite um, author. We read him all the time, but um, I can't. You know, like I was saying, when you go on live, your brain doesn't work as fast as it usually does. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting them down. 15, Shell. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bread. 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 Mother, would you grab me a Diet Cola? I would love to try this. Yeah. Your, yes, Easter grass. You guys are so smart. Don't <laughs> drop it. Oh, and look at his little petticoat. The little tails. I didn't even show that. Oh, I should have shown the back. And look at his little leafy hat. Easter grass, Diane says. That's what I said. Or that's I, I said that. That's a great idea. Yeah, it was a good idea. It was a good with, idea. With <laughs> the, an egg from the chicken postcard on the top. Mm, mm. It'd be cute. Carrie K, it's yours, my love. Thank you. Congratulations. I think this is adorable. I love that piece. And you want to come I just got that this weekend. And I rather quite liked it. I'm wearing my silky pants. Awesome. My silky pants. My husband hates it when I wear my pants up this high, but it's just comfortable to me. I, I've never been one to wear low rise. <laughs> but that's mom pants and mom pants is that. But I wore these before I was a mom. So they're just, I just don't like my pants low. I just like them around my stomach, like a, like a cozy hug. Too much information, but you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. See, your rudeness is rubbing off on me. So See how I'm treating these people? I didn't mean to be rude. Really, I feel bad about this. You really should. Really, really should. I'm I'm just, I, I need Go to ahead. be sent to my room. Which is not at this house. Goodbye. <laughs> Good night. Good day. 24. Good day, dear. That was, that was a con. Oh, I really, really like this one. I need chapstick before. Before I sell this, mom, talk to the people because I really like this next piece. So you might not like it, but like I really like it. So maybe refresh if you like what I like. Talk to the people. I need chats. So should we talk about my ice skating skills? No. <laughs> she said no. Yeah. So so no. I I I, I made myself my costume. Um, I used the hot glue gun and I. Um, Decorated it with vintage and antique brooches in all the appropriate places. So I thought, well, just in case the hot glue didn't stick at the Olympics, you know, I made a fascinator. For you already told this story. I thought there were some people who were not here and they needed If you've been ice skating since you were a child, don't you have more exciting ice skate stories? But, but 
missing out on the Olympics is a big deal to me. <laughs> Most men aren't really experts where pants should hit. Palmer's cracks, for instance, absolutely correct. Isn't absolutely. that a sight to be seen, really, when you do see it? I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel so much more comfortable with my stomach covered. I don't like, like, when I bend down for the world to see my booty crack. It's just weird to me. Anyways. Well, I mean, it is your, I digress. It's your booty crack. It's not. Now, I did a boo-boo. I made a mistake. On my Instagram preview, I photographed my items on top of my, my personal jewelry caskets, which I probably shouldn't have done, and I will note that if I do that again. Um, but my jewelry caskets were not for sale. At least the ones in that picture, in those pictures weren't. But I did have somebody say they couldn't wait to see my jewelry casket, like a jewelry casket. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, those were mine. And I felt so bad that I brought a jewelry casket. Ta-da! I love this one. It is really, really unique. And here's why. I'm going to tell you why. If because is. this is going to start, where's my number? You stole my number again. Oh no. That's okay. This is going to start at $25 and here's why. $24. Normally, when you find a jewelry casket, I wouldn't say this is an antique jewelry casket. I would say this is a vintage jewelry casket, okay? Probably from around the 70s. But normally when you find these jewelry caskets, they have flat glass either on the front, on the top, or around the side. They're always flat with a little bit of beveling around the edges. But this one has a completely domed, beveled piece of glass. Do you see that? That is not broken, which is crazy. And it's, it's beveled. Like, they had to blow or mold the glass in a bubble. And it's got its original liner. Now, it has come loose a little bit right there look at the stunning detailing and then it's got these two little cherub babies on the front it's got four legs it's a very heavy like brass or Aww. like pot metal yes convex thank you so much i always have to concave is like you're going in a cave so it goes in and convex it's just like convex it's like, <sighs> Yes, it's got convex glass. Thank you so much. Not that one. Right. Thank you, Auntie Christy. But I hope that you guys can see that it does not run flush with the top of that. Like, it's a bubble of glass. It's not plastic. It's glass. So cool. I love it. I love it a lot. And that color of that liner is so pretty. That, like, mustardy yellow. And then here's the bottom. And look at that detailing around the edges. Oh, I love these. And here's the bottom. And I have so many of these for my personal. Um, it's not marked. It's not marked. It's not marked. Um, and then it's got the same chair of babies on the back. And I have so many of these in my personal collection. And the reason being is I, I mentioned this last week, but I'll say it again real quick. Is when you put your jewelry pieces in this. And then you decide you want to wear that piece. It just makes it such an experience, you know? And I feel like in life, I'm going to get a little bit of gushy mushy on you. I feel like in life, we're always speeding through our days. We're trying to get to the next thing and the next thing and get this done and get this done and get the kids fed and get this thing. That We don't have those moments like they used to do back in the day of like self-pampering and treating yourself and making yourself feel special. And when I have a little, like, my piece of jewelry in these, which I have all of my jewelry in these, for one, you can see it when it's shut and it keeps the dust from getting on it so it treats it like a treasure that way but then when you go to put it on it's like a whole experience right you open this you get your little piece of jewelry out and you put it on and it just makes you feel 10 times more beautiful and like self-worthy just having something to take a moment even something as simple as that for yourself to make you feel fancy because we don't make ourselves feel fancy all that often but I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. And if you guys look these up, I'm telling you, these ones with the convex glass tops are very difficult to find. What? I want to see the babies. The cherub babies? babies. With their wingy wings? Their what? Wingy wings. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. Just go away. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, hang on, <laughs> scooter out of the way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one. Bid end. <laughs> no, don't tell me this. I don't want to do what happened last week. Where you laughed at me? I was like, I don't think you. It was just, it was funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I'm sorry. I yeah. see Leslie. Congratulations. Don't Leslie. shake the table, Mom. Thank you, everyone, for bidding. Giving my poor friends concussions. Mm -hmm. I've lost you, Leslie. There you are. And you know, last week, for those of you that were here, and I did my whole des miones thing, I thought we agreed we weren't going to tell anybody. You know, the very next day, Misty Pate had a sale. Misty Pate had a sale. What? I was saying hi to Sarah Lee. Oh, hi, Sarah Lee. Misty Pate had a sale, and the first thing she said was, I heard about your des miones. I said, were you there? No. I thought I could trust you people. Sure enough, not. But then I find out today that it was Michael Todd. He admitted to it today on but, the live. But that was so funny. You know, not, not that you say it right, maybe you go, hi, my name's Ariana. <laughs> and I'm from Des Miles, <laughs> Iowa. And that just, that was just, was and, it it's, and Misty now says, you'll forever be known as Mrs. Des Miles. Uh, Princess Des Miles. Princess. Princess. Oh, I didn't write down, um, sorry, go ahead. You're fine. I just forgot something. Oh no. Oh no, she says. It's mom's minute. Oh no. Oh, it's Ooh. mom's minute. It's mommy's minute. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. so if you all remember last week, I had some of my I shake the table. <sighs> it's shaking the table. My glass ornaments. Um, these are these are. Um, last week I had Valentine's uh, glass ornaments, and this week I have Easter ones. Um, these are ones that I, I, do you want to hold one and I can describe them both at the same no, time? No, I want you to stand up and I want you to hold them. It's your minute, ma'am. You're so bossy. I'm not bossy. So these I'm, are, and I'm a leader. They start at $14 and it's choice. Let's get this out of the way. I hand paint the back. Well, that doesn't want to stay out the way, y'all. It just doesn't want to stay out the way. So I hand paint them and then I put uh, vintage, these are reproduction die cuts. Um, at the time I was making these originally, I did not have real antique and or vintage die cuts. So I, I felt comfortable using these reproductions. Um, I hand paint the back, I cut the glass. And then what I do is like when you see in stained glass, I do the tinning. And um, this, this bunny is holding an egg and I've painted the grass. Here, I'll help you now. And the flowers. Which one do you want? I love this one. And this bunny has an Easter basket full of eggs. And uh, did I say they started at 14? I, I don't remember. So if I didn't, I'm saying it now. Do you have your flashlight? Yeah. Can I see it a moment? I want to see if, if they can see the paint a little bit better. If I See, there you go. Now you can see. But I hand paint them and I have to cure them in a, a couple of different ways because once I paint them, I have to cure the paint. I do, as I said, I, I do the tinning using a soldering iron, just like you would see with stained glass. And um, they should be about four inches long and I'm gonna, yeah. yeah, they're four inches. This one is just a... And I do wanna say this one, I don't know if she said, it's more on like a clear cut piece of glass. Like it's just a clear, straight, see-through piece of glass. But this one right here is on a, there's this clear too. No, this one has like an iridescence to it. Can you yeah. see that? Yeah. So I think that's really cool that it's iridescent like that. Yeah, these are for Easter. I mean, you could just use them for whatever. All right, mother. Oh. Would you like to start counting? Yeah, let's around? count these down. Um, 10, 9, 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You bid said, in. Yeah, bid in. And um, if you look at my Instagram, which is Kathleen, C A T H L E N. Good plan. You're doing good. A N N. Don't break that. At, um, on the Instagram, the Instagram. Um, I have s some other things coming up, which are I'm really excited about. Okay, we're gonna do basket bunny. We're gonna do basket bunny, and we're gonna do- Egg bunny. Basket bunny. We're gonna do egg bunny. Egg bunny. Good job, Ooh. mom. 
All right, I see MJ Bear. Oh, MJ. For 25. Thank you, baby. I'm pretty sure MJ bought your last she, pair. She did. Her so and Amy. So she must have liked them. Did you get them, MJ? I'm curious if you got them. That's so sweet. She's starting a collection. Oh. MJ, would you like this one with the basket? With the iridescence, or would you like this one with the egg? Let me know. Oh, she hasn't gotten them yet. You're but gonna hope she likes them. I hope you like them. Let or me know. Or she's gonna be real disappointed all at once. And with it, the things that um, anyone has purchased from me, I do send, and, and you're getting extras, um, you know, because that's your show. You'll have to it. send extra extras but, to MJ. But things, something special from my garden what? that I grew. Oh, MJ. He's so sweet. MJ has just, oh, she kills me. She's she so kills sweet. Me. I want to. Uh, it sounds like you're about to say, I want to marry her. I don't want to marry her, but I want to I be, want to marry her. I just love her heart and her. Mom, you know. Brigia would like for you to, Lois PV, you were right after the bid end, my dear. Right after it. I'm so sorry. If you go to my um, Instagram and you want me to. Well, she's saying, um, Brigia said, what's the name of your Instagram again so she can post it? Kathleen, C-A-T-H-L-E-N, and A-N-N, at. Instagram. <laughs> on the the Instagram. Wow, you're so hip. I'm not hip. I am Oh, MJ asked you sign them. Oh, MJ. No, she said, do you? I haven't. So do you want her to, or are you saying if you did, wash it off? I don't want that. It's a thing. Let us know. But I, I've made some Halloween ones, and then, like I said, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see there's some uh, little antique ephemera of little hearts. I'm gonna make some little necklaces. She wants you to sign them. Oh, honey. Y'all kill me. So cute. I love y'all so much. So cute. All right, you can leave now. Your mom minutes are over. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you go. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Go ahead, mother. Thank you, MJ. Thank, Thank you. you for supporting my mom. Y'all are lovely. She did give me life, so I appreciate that. Even though she didn't like the room with the view. It's not quite the, like the view I wanted. You don't know. You don't I would know. have been preferred to be born be a C-section. You don't remember, do you? Oh, you came out so blue. I know. Blue. I'm blue. <laughs> Why is there songs that go with everything? Okay, now here, here's one of my personal favorites. It's from my personal collection. So, of course, I'm going to love it. Now, there is an issue with this one, and this is why it's going to be a set price. Otherwise, I would do an offer up. It smells a bit like motor oil. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe it was stored in a garage. But this inside right there, like it's like tar or something. And it smells kind of strong like motor oil. Um, but when it's shut, you don't really smell it. But I did want to be transparent with you guys. But it was such a cool tan. And I had it in my house. And it didn't make like a really strong smell, but I do want to let you know that that's, that that's there. But here's the tin. Look at that. I love it. And it's a big tin. And I love this color. It's one of my favorites. And it says Smith's White Fruit, a delicacy from Dixie registered cake. Trademark Gordon Smith, Mobile, Alabama, USA. I love this and look how beautiful she is. And it is an older tin, you can see on the back. It's it's older, it's certainly an older tin. Beautiful riser, really stunning graphics. This, like literally, I don't know if you can see, would go, did go with my stuff so well. But I'm sharing it with you guys. Old car smell, yes, it does kind of smell like an old car. Um, I didn't try to clean it because it kind of freaked me out to clean it, to be quite honest, because I didn't want to rust it. I smell it. You, okay, smell it. What I think. It almost kind of smells like a lozenger, like medicine, like a, like a medicine, like a medicine. Like, like, wait, 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 that's a memory from my childhood. Okay, well, let's let her have a moment with the memory of the childhood. Not, not this. It's, it's kind of medical-y. Maybe they stored medical stuff in here? I'm not sure. It smells like Band-Aids. It's got a weird like smell. Like Band-Aids used to... Just what I'm saying is, I don't want to beat this horse to death, but what I'm saying is if you get this tin, if you buy it, and you say, that smells kind of weird. I tried to tell you it smelled kind of weird. 
but she is stunning. I love this tin so much, but this is going to be a buy it now at $14. So if you're interested in this, the first person to type number 12 is going to get this tin for $14. Yvonne says she just followed you and people said agree sign your art you are valued yeah you don't even know what you mean to me and then Auntie Chrissy said oh my goodness you have to sign your art you spend all that time making them and you deserve to have it acknowledged I think Auntie Christy is trying to make me cry tonight and yeah it's your turn that, we said that no I said to, I wasn't gonna cry tonight that, um, I see Belle vintage thank you dear I mean, I'm yeah, I'm. I get. I'm getting mushy. I, we need to stop. Oh, her I'm, eyes are watering. They are. I oh, it's to, your turn. Your turn to cry. I'm not. I, I'm not. not me. I'm not going to. But I'm just so honored. Anyone like the smell of an old garage or barn that has a wood, a uh, dirt floor that have been worked on by cars? Yeah, that's pretty much what it smells like. I wonder. I wonder. You know, back in the day, they didn't know those tins were going to be like something that we were going to fall in love with, and they probably kept nuts and bolts and things like that in it. You know. But when you get it, um. Put some baking soda in When you get it, Bell, Bell Vintage, let me know what you think it smells like. I'm curious. Con Congratulations, Bell Vintage. You can heat your oven up a little and then turn it off and after you dry your items in towels, set them in the oven to get extra dry so they don't rice. Very cool. Oh. Thank you. And Patricia says you have to sign your art. You're giving a part of you with each piece. I, 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 I will. Do you have a... A, a Sharpie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She'll sign them. Why don't you sign them live for MJ? Okay, MJ, I didn't sign the other ones. I, I did not. Well, actually, I don't have a Sharpie, so we'll sign them. We'll sign them. We'll Sorry, have. MJ. I tried. Okay, this next piece is super duper nifty. I've been watching live sales since like pre-COVID. Well, no, live sales happened after COVID, pretty much. I think. But um, I've been. Are you okay? Yes. I've been watching them for a while, and I've never seen one of these come up. Y'all, tell me if you have. Super unique. What? 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 <gasps> this is by Boyd Glass. B-O-Y-D. And it is a slag glass dinosaur. Ashley, what kind of dinosaur is it? It's a slag glass dinosaur. Now, let me look it over before I tell you something because I've been wrong. No chippies. No cracks. It's a daggum slag glass T-Rex. This is going to start at $12. And I did some research, and it is Boyd glass, but I didn't find this color. So I'm assuming this is kind of a difficult color to find. It is a beautiful, it makes me want a root beer float real bad. Like, real bad. I want a root beer float with a dinosaur. He's in cute. It. But look, look at that. Imagine him with a little bow on his neck. I just think that's so unique. Like, you know how you were saying that, how you don't know how people like decided to make certain things? Like who decided? Yes, a slag glass dinosaur is what Thank we you, shall Casey. be making in the glass factory today, folks. Look at his little arms. He's in such good condition. And this glass coloring is so well done. And it's got all this little detailing etched into the glass. And you can see all of his, were they scales? Do dinosaurs have scales? I don't know. Starting at $12. But look, he's got little teeth. And eyes. Just so cool. It's different and it's unique and... This will be good for a little boy's room. Does it? Oh. Mm, it doesn't glow. No. I thought I'd try. But it doesn't glow. But, yes. Very cool. I've never seen one. That's why I picked it up. Um, I like to pick up things and bring new things that haven't been shown before. And I don't think this has. And look at his little T-Rex feet. Very <laughs> nifty. This would be really cute for a little boy's room. Like if a little boy collects paperweights, which my daughter does. She loves paperweights. But anyways, I'm going to start counting this down. Not scales, leathery hides. Okay, I knew I was wrong. So I'm always wrong, so that sounds about right. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and start counting him down. 15. Thank you, Judy. 14. He's so shiny. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 2. 1. Big end. end. I could see this in a little boy's room. I know, that's what I'm saying. Or just a grown up. Oh, yeah. I, 
Oh, this is so cool. Well, what Next to like all your like really cute like like bluebirds of happiness and all this really <laughs> frilly stuff. And you got Dino Man. Just going to eat up all the bluebirds. I would put a little tiny pink bow on his neck just because you should. Just because you should. Did you hear that, um, my pal Sal? My mom says you should put a bow around his neck. So we're counting on you. Thanks, my pal Sal. Thank I, that's you. really fun to say. My, my pal Sal. Sal. For Again, if y'all haven't um, sent Ariana a, a, a Gmail with your information, please do that because she does like to ship in a timely fashion. Yes, actually, most of the people in the chat seems like if they bought for me last Tuesday, they already have their items home. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, you scared me. I thought you were nudging me like, no, oh, don't no, 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 don't. No, I was just going to just grab the dino and put him. Uh, yes, here's Mr. Dino. Could be, yeah, with pinks or lavenders. You're right. Yes. But, um, I'm, like I said, if you missed the beginning of the sale, I'm going to try to invoice in the next two to three days, um, preferably in the first one or two. But I also have three antique booths. I sell full-time on eBay. I'm a mom. Uh, I have a husband and all the dogs. So uh -huh. many dogs. A very needy mother. Um, but that, does, that doesn't negate for the fact that I should ship in a timely manner, and I always do. I ship within three days at the latest so three days is my is my time at the most but just don't worry if you don't hear from me in three days three day well after three days worry but after that only after that yeah if it's after three days and you can't you haven't heard anything you find me and i'll hunt her down hunt her down you'll be like drugged up oh uh, yeah getting surgeries and whatnot you're gonna be fine i know <laughs> they literally look like I just dumped them out. Like I got mad at my It felt like, like New Year's. It was confetti. Oh, dude. 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 This is live. Live, live, live. 22. 22. That was so, like, it was like they started to fall and then I just, like, poured them out. That was so weird. That was so weird. But I didn't snort. Okay, this is another item from my personal collection. I love it. So, this is my third live sale. I haven't been doing this very long. So, I'm bringing a mixture of things I think you guys will like and then things I like. Now, it will be interesting to know if you guys like what I like or if I'm just weird. So, we're going to find out right now. No, wrong number, mother. Butterfly wing art. Yeah, I don't know. It's right here. Oh. So this is a souvenir of Panama. Um, I believe this is from the 40s. And I love these things. Now, I don't condone herding animals for aesthetic purposes. But things like that happen. Leather items exist. We eat meat. There's just all sorts of things that happen. We won't get into all that. And I wasn't born in the 40s, so I couldn't have prevented this from happening. But I love it and it's beautiful. Um, this is a souvenir of Panama. And there is this really cool looking, I'm sure it's a landmark in Panama. So I don't wanna implicate myself too much sounding too stupid calling it a castle. Cause I'm sure it's not, I'm sure it's something related to Panama. Um, this is gonna start at $14. But what is so fascinating about this piece is if you see this iridescence, you see how it changes from this really pretty pinky purple to this deep, deep blue. That backing is made 100% out of butterfly wings. Morpho butterfly wings to be exact. And they are, it is, it's something that you can't recreate. Like you can't recreate a look that butterfly wings put out. It's like when you see iridescence in glass and we use the term iridescence, that doesn't really do that word justice because all of those iridescence are man-made. This is a nature made iridescence. I mean, I don't even know if it's gonna capture on here properly, but you won't, f when you get this uh, and you look at it, you're gonna like be mesmerized. You're gonna like be flickering it back and forth. Cause it's just, uh, the colors, like it's so cool. It's like, it's, there's a light in it. Like, do you see how vibrant that is all the way from back here? And there's no black light you being used. No, no. I mean, there is like my ring light. Um, but it's 
Should we see if it glows? It doesn't. I just. But then. Okay. It doesn't. But <laughs> and on I the back, it says made in Brazil. And it's got all its little original stickers, which I like yeah, see, too. Yes, Auntie Christy. It's like a fingerprint. I like that too, because it's kind of like all of its little history pieces where this piece has been. But look, at, I just love this so much. And I have another one that I'm probably going to bring to a sale another time. I have two, but oh, I really hope that it's coming across as beautiful as it is in person. And look at the palm trees. That's all reverse painted, by the way. That's a reverse painting. Like, it's so well done and so delicate. And they did it by hand. That's all hand painted right there. The trees and that building and the grass. Oh, I just love this piece so much. I hope you guys like it. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. So you've got 15, 14, 14 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, you find the coolest items thanks judy i don't know like i'm learning i'm learning to see if you guys think my mind is a cool place or if i need to tweak it a little bit um not change who i am by any means but you know kind of separate my brain from y'all's brains but it's all a learning curve so we'll just see we'll just slowly I've told Ariana I don't want to see her items until we do this because... She said, it, I think it's fun. But I'm like, you're going to be mad at some of the things I sell because I am trying to pull from my own collection because I like the idea of passing on my treasures. Because to be quite honest, I don't know that my daughter would want all my stuff one day. I see Casey May. Casey May for 22. Yay, I'm so glad you like it. I really love it. And wait till you see it in person. It's just so stunning. You're going to freak out. Bring us what you like, Arian. I try to do a good mix. I try to bring, I mean, I like everything I bring because I feel like you have to have a passion behind what you're trying to sell. If you don't like something, it's going to show, right? Like, if you try, like, you've seen those people on QVC where they're like, eh. So if you don't like something, you're not going to be able to promote it properly. So I like everything I bring, but then there's just some things I like more than others. Yeah, I like your unique items. So they're, they're some of my favorite things that you have. Congrats, Kay's May. I always get so sad when the numbers start to deplenish. Number two. Number, Number two. two. Okay, this is another, like, we're doing two kind of Ariana items back to back. This is another one that I don't know how you guys are going to feel about it. I love this. Okay, so this is, again, another item from my personal collection. And this is going to start at $16, and I'm going to tell you why. I love the original sticker that was on it when I bought it. It says 1860 and it's framed. And I want you guys to see, again, starting at $16, I want you guys to see the size of this. So the frame itself is two and a half inches by two inches. Very small frame. But the picture is an inch by three fourths inch. And what is so cool about this is that tin types came in different sizes. This is a Victorian tin type. But what is cool about this is this is the smallest size that you could have gotten. And this one is referred to as a gem, G-E-M. So when you see a standard tin type, it is approximately this size. This is your standard size of tin types you'll come across. Now this is a gem. And the reason why gems are rarer and more difficult to find than a standard tin type is because look how little this is. These would be born in their wallets um, they, and then they would just be lost. They're so small and they're just little pieces of metal. So they would get crushed up kind of like a penny. Like think how easily you would lose a penny, but this wasn't lost. So figure this is from 1860. It was never lost or crushed. And it is this beautiful woman holding a picnic basket. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to show you, but you can see her so much clearly in real life. But this is a gem and I love it. I love it. And again, here's your standard size tintype to the gem so you can see the size difference. It's very informative, I didn't know this. And I like her. But if there's no interest, I would not be sad to keep my GM for that exact reason. She's a GM. So we can put this aside. I knew it was a little different. 
So I wasn't sure, but I still want to bring the different and funky envelope and a letter with one of those tiny chip. It was a wonderful surprise. Oh, look, Donna, I would have oh, freaked it, it, out. I would have freaked out. I love that they called it a gem. Yeah, it's a gem. May I see it very, very briefly? She's holding a teeny tiny picnic basket. Oh, I'm sorry. It started at $16. I thought I said that. I wonder where she's I going. May not have. I mean, I guess she's going to a picnic, huh? That was kind of a yeah. dumb question, but. Oh, I don't think Bray Gia said 16. I might not have said it. It's starting at $16. Oh, okay. I was like, I just didn't. Think you all man, I, I think you it. maybe you got excited about describing her because she's very yeah. lovely. She looks very serious. And the woman, I want to say this, the woman I bought it from has the most amazing antique store I've ever been into in my life. And she's like my new best friend. And I'm going to go back. I'm sorry, Brie. Yeah, start at $16. Um, but she has a friend who is an expert in dating these items because he goes off of their clothing. And she as well said she was a vintage antique and Victorian clothing expert, like certified. And so she had everything labeled by the year according to the outfits that they were wearing. So this one, it, she said she was certain was from 1860, which is, golly, how many years is that now? Quite a while. <laughs> yeah, you do the math, I don't wanna do it. 1860, 1960, that's 100 years. And then 40 for 2000, 21, so 160 something years ago is when this picture was taken. So what year, 1840? 1860. 60. Mm -hmm. And then again, I'm gonna show you one more time. Here's the gem compared to a standard size tin type. And you are gonna be getting it in the frame. And now I don't know anything about this piece of fabric that is behind the picture. I didn't ask. I don't know if it's associated to the photograph. I'm unsure if it was like part of her picnic blanket or an article of her clothing. I'm not sure. I bought it just like that. And I loved it. Loved every pit, bit of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. And I hope whoever gets this cherishes it like I did because it's such a cool piece. But 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 7 <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fit in. I'm so sorry, Brie Gia. I'm sorry I didn't say the prize. Hi, Sue. Welcome, Sue. You Hi, see Sue. my gem? She's beautiful. She's Sue. She's beautiful. Hey, will you open this for me? My mommy wants me to open her cheese, her string cheese for her. I'm gonna open it and my stomach is just making all the noises. There you go, mama. Thank you. There's your cheese, cheese baby. Your string cheese. Is it string cheese? Yes. Well, that's cool. I see Samantha Richard. I'll try to not chew in front of y'all, but my tummy is just making the noises. Do I need to scoot you off set again? Mm-mm. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Very and was pretty. I'm pretty sure. Was number two? No, yeah, I'm looking at something. Yeah, you're gonna love it. It's very cool. I'm gonna draw the number because my mom's shoving her face with cheese right now. Whatever. Whatever. I can't help it. My stomach was making so much noise. I didn't want to. Number eleven. Okay. This is some kitsch. So if y'all like kitsch, you might like this. I mean, it's kind of kitschy. I guess it's not too kitschy. I'm not really sure how you would describe this. Look at this lamp. Now, before you start bidding, I gotta tell you a couple things. I'm not gonna tell you how much it's starting at until I tell you these. Here's a little chip on the bottom. It's on the bottom, so you don't really see it. You kind of, kind of little bit see it right there, but not too terribly bad. And there's one teeny chip right here, okay? Other than that, it's in excellent condition. It's got its original Made in Japan sticker right there. And it's a horse lamp. How cool is that? This is gonna start at $12. Now, it does work, okay? I plugged it in, I was brave. I was a big brave girl and I plugged it in and it works. You kinda have to get this, cause it's the clicky kind. You kinda have to get it in just the right position for the light to stay on. But it would be so easy to rewire um, which I would recommend only because this is the original cord. And I mean, it works, but 
just to be safe. You might want to rewire it, but it would be so easy to rewire because this literally just unscrews like that and the hole's right there. And it's just one quick whoop and you're there. But look at this lamp. And look at that detailing right there and the horses. Have you ever seen a vintage made in Japan horse lamp? And it's, it's luster wear. Do you see the luster? It's like kind of lustery. This one is more so lustery. Maybe luster isn't the right word. And then there's the back, it's got the pink. I just think that's so regal beagle. Excuse me, geisha lady. Excuse me. You want me to put her on the end? Uh... No, she's fine. But look at that. This is, let me tell you how tall it is. Nine inches by five inches. It's a very cute, very unique little lamp. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. But yes, I really like this piece. I would recommend rewiring it just because it's a little sketchy, but still really cool. Even if you took this off and just use it as a figurine or use it as like a little bud vase for some false fox. Pretend flowers. Pretend flowers <laughs> in this little hole. That would uh, make such a cool figurine. I got it. Faux. No, oh yeah, faux. That's what I was going for. Faux. Thanks, Mom. Um, my stomach's still going. I'm going to start counting this down. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Bid it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Mother. Don't shake the table because I give everybody a concussion. A concussion. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't give the poor people a concussion. <gasps> we got another cousin. Lavender Hill Cottage. You're my cottage cousin. Thanks so much, cottage the cousin. The horses are really cute. They're holding up the base. Lavender. What? The horses are like holding up the, the Mom. lamp. Mom. Don't You're, shake the table. Don't I shake the table. It's gonna be like how uh, Fat Bird finds is like, Laura, your face. We're like, Mom, don't shake the table. You know it? Gosh. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, Cottage Cousin. It's a very fun piece. I don't find a lot of like, I say that, okay, just know that when I say that, I mean it because like I try to find things I don't see. So of course I'm gonna say that about a lot of my things is I don't see them often, but. Yeah, I didn't see, I don't see a lot of kitschy horse lamps. 21. 21 in the house. Oh, this is your favorite. You want to show it real quick while I go to the bathroom? Oh, Lord, help me. Which one? It's not your moment, but you can still help me. Oh, I love her. I'll get it started, and then I'm going to run to the restroom because my daughter killed my bladder for life. But look at her. She is made in Germany. She is three and a half by two and a half inches wide. She's in excellent condition, still has her original face paint. She's marked made in Germany, or actually just Germany. It doesn't say made in, it just says I Germany right part. here. And then she is stamped and numbered on the bottom. She's gonna start, hang on woman. She's gonna start at $12. Okay, don't be very gentle when you do it. Yeah, okay. okay. So she's magnificent. Ariana said all the things you need to know. She's made in Germany. You ready? You watching? Watch me break it. I, I maybe it'll. <laughs> she's a bottle. She is a bottle. You could put perfume in her. I think you should put, or a shot of honey whiskey. Yeah. She's magnificent, y'all. The green is one of my favorite, favorite colors. And she has this lovely little bow on her back. And she's holding a bouquet of flowers. And she's like, I'm so happy. I am holding a bouquet of flowers. I don't know what I'm supposed to say other than she's magnificent. I really do like her. I love her color. I love her. This is my favorite um, Ariana item of the night. What did she start out, honey? $12. $12. And did you show them how good of condition her cork is in? I, I, I showed them the cork, but I didn't say anything about it's really good. Look how really clean. Good. 
And it's not a reproduction. Um, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say for certain because I've been wrong before. But just that numbering and the wear on the bottom, it does not say reproduction to me. And it's very thinly. Oh, I can see why the cork looks so clean. Someone replaced the cork. I just saw that. The original cork is inside. Do you, do you see it? So someone loved this and replaced the cork. No wonder your cork looks <laughs> new. Well, I just found that to be peculiar because I was like, she's an older piece, but her cork looks new and she's not a reproduction. Holding a bouquet with liquor in her butt. Yes, ma'am. I like her a lot. I would put, I think I would put look at the little perfume. bustle on the back. Or would that be on the front? I think it's on the back. Well, she was facing this way. I don't know. I still think on the back. She's a bit, yeah. That, she goes that. Way. I don't know. Cause you can that crane's coming up pretty much the right color. It's it's. Gosh, she's so pretty. I love that face paint, and I love that she's so little. Like that shelf. I gotta get that shelf real quick. The Romeo and Juliet shelf. Yeah. Romeo, Romeo, Bye, where man. where Bye, far man. out thou, Romeo? Deny thy father. Refuse thy name. I could do that while I'm ice skating. Like if you had a shelf like this, like one of these small wall shelves, and had her displayed like that. She's she, so cute. She's Ju Juliet? She's Juliet. Sorry, girl. I ain't got your Romeo. I love her. I don't have your Romeo. I don't know where you are. Oh, out so out. Do you think it's antique, Lois? Yes, I do. Ar Ariana thinks it's an antique. Mm -hmm. And it's very fine. Um, like on the bottom is a very, very thin bisque, like very thin bisque. And then this is glazed. Beautiful. Yeah. This is my favorite item of Ariana's tonight. It just <laughs> is. I just, it's kitschy, but it's, I don't know. Cute. But I'm going to start counting her down. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Bit in. And please note that I understand I'm not British, and I don't know why I go in and out of a British accent. I know why. I know it's not cute, and I know it's weird, but uh, I know why. It's just something I've always done. Why? I used to work with a guy who did the same thing, and you thought it was fun. When I was a kid? Yes. How old was I? Oh, uh, you had to have been about seven. Oh, I didn't know. And he would do that all the time, and I would look at him and go, what is, What's he doing that for? And then you started doing it, and it was like I couldn't be like annoyed I, anymore. I never knew this about me. Yeah, it was like wow. you started. It was like. I'm learning so much. No, it's like at the end of my video, someone was like, Thanks again for joining me. I'm the withering corpse. I am, you know, I am a, a, like a, a Tudor history nerd, and I did. Watch a lot of documentaries But I'm certainly not stuff. British, and I probably shouldn't speak like one. That's probably not politically correct. They might throw things at you. But I'm very sorry. I know it's not cute. I just literally cannot help it. It's a thing. My sincerest apologies. But it's cute, because you're cute. Mom, our numbers are dwindling. We're dwindling. Thank you guys for hanging out. I love, I love hanging out with y'all. It's so fun. It, oh, it's like I have friends. One. It's before 1916 when items weren't labeled maiden. Okay, yeah, no, I would, I would say, I would probably, if I had to give her a date, I would say 1910, uh -oh. around there. Number one, which, what do we have? Oh, these are cool. I like these, but that will be on with my face. Man, my dog. He's he just kisses crazy. me. He loves me. No, what it is. So right now they're on my screened in porch, which is completely covered. They have all their toys and beds out there. They like to be out there. Like he wanted to be out there. But my big boy, the one you hear barking, he's 150 pounds. So if he hears anything, his bark will scare away an intruder miles away. And he could be hearing a... Karen one. Did I write down the wrong person? Who did I... What number was that? Number Karen, one. yeah, I'm sorry. Did I, yeah, Karen won. I'm sorry. Karen. Did I say the wrong person? Karen. I wrote down Karen. My words just didn't say Karen. Thank you. Sorry, Karen. My dog's barking is disrupting me. Do Can you, you check on him and tell me? He, not clean. John, he, he doesn't jump on anybody but me. He loves me. He just me. loves her and he's he really big. He's a, he's, a big, he's a big boy. Look at these. I love these. Now, when I bought these, I didn't realize there was this teeny tiny chip right here. Now that could easily be filled in because it's um it's just like the the 
the firing on top, that could easily be filled in with a little bit of green watercolor and you would never ever see it. But like I said, I don't ever repair my pieces because I don't ever want it to look like um, I was trying to hide a fault. I just sell it as it is and then leave it up to you to repair it if you so choose to. Now I know the makers of these and I am drawing a blank. So I'm so sorry about that. Uh, and I don't know where I could pull it out of my brain from. But these are gonna start at $18 and they're candlestick holders. How cool is that? They are vintage. I just, I wish I could remember who made them. I'm really drawing a blank. I'm so sorry. But other than this, one little piece right here. No. They're in excellent condition. Look at that coloring. The way they did that, like, that, is it ombre? Would that be the right terminology? I'm not sure. But these are pretty sizely. These are seven inches tall, and you're bidding on pa the pair, not for choice, but they're so cool. They're so kitschy and just fun, and they're flamingos. Yes, I know I said flamingos, but look at their black little beakies. I just think these are so cool. I like them a lot, and here's the bottom. They did have a sticker, um, but I can't remember. I just, I can't remember the name of them and it's, that's going to drive me crazy. But if you can look them up real quick and say, you're more than welcome to, but look at that feather detailing on their wings. I love these colors and they're real, they really are in very good condition. I, I know, where's Jeffrey? Jeffrey, let's, let's Beetlejuice him. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Did it work? Is he here? Jeffrey, are you here? Let me know. Look at him. Can't help but think of Jeffrey when you see flamingos. I know, but they're just so kitschy and I don't come across flamingo stuff here in Georgia that often, which is, we're not too terribly far from Florida, but I just don't see them. But they're so cute. Here's the backs. And look how like, like well done their necks are. It's very thin ceramic, but just so well done. Very pretty with some loose like candlesticks in here. If you could ever get your hands on a pair of pink lucite candles. Oh, that would look so cool on these. Or green ones, or even the clear ones, or the gold to match the yellow. Yes, they are candle holders. Ain't that nifty. There is some candle residue in this one. This one appears to be a little cleaner, but there is some in that one as well. So they were used, which I like that. I like that they were used. They have a story to tell. But I'm gonna go ahead, are they Royal Copley? No, they're not Royal Copley can't remember the name. It's a guy. It's a single man is all I know. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting these down. 15. 14. I always forget you do that. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Bit in. Bit in. Bit in. Bit in. Bit in. Bit in. I like them. They're so fun. They're so fun. May I look? Yeah, look. Look away. No, they're not Holt Howard. <laughs> if I remember, I'll tell you all next week. <laughs> not that it's going to matter too much then. I'm so sorry. I should have wrote it down, but I thought I had it in my brain bank. In my brain bank, let me down. There's something on your bit. I cannot read it. I see Deanna Travis. Thanks so much. Congratulations, Deanna. Thank Brad you. Brad Keeler. That's sounding more like it. Yeah, that's sounding more like it. Brad Keeler. Thank you, LaDonna. I think that's it. Oh, LaDonna's you helped my brain. Information. Mommy, your belly. I know. My, my tummy's growing a lot. She's hangy. Go get you another. No, I, I thought stick. it would help. I, I don't know. Oh, thanks, Judy. Yeah, I can't believe it still. Um, you know, I try not to look at the numbers because then I get nervous, so... Thanks for making me nervous now. I'm just kidding. Selling on Ruby Lane for 65, 1950s. Good, then you got a, a really good deal, Deanna. Congratulations. I hope you love them. Six. Number six. I'm so confused. Oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah, but th this. I know, but where did I write the other one? Oh no, that's right. Okay. This is something a little different for you guys. I don't know if you're gonna like it. I hope you like it. It's from my personal collection. It's got con Beck's glass on it. Butterflies, real ones. 
This is gonna start at $14. Now, I've been collecting these for years. I started collecting these probably in my early 20s. Um, I need something to put behind it. I started collecting these in my early 20s. And, um, oh, you're fine, Judy. No, I know, I know, love. No, you're good, you're good, thank you. No, I appreciate it. They used to be so easy to find. I used to find them all the time at thrift stores and antique stores. Now I never see them. And when I do, they're like $100. They're insane. Like, go on eBay. Um, I'm not saying that just so that you'll bid on these for more, but I'm just saying these used, you could pick these up so affordably before, and now they're just nearly down out of the price range. They're just insane how much they go for. But this has convex glass. It is bevel, like it is raised like this. It's not a flat piece of glass. And I would say this is more than likely from the 70s. It's got this butterfly right here. And then it's got this floral detailing. It's got this one with the iridescence on its wings. And it's got this one on the top. Now, normally I don't like to ship my butterflies because they usually pretty much disintegrate in the mail. But I feel okay shipping this one because they are glued on the back, but there is always a chance that their wings will become detached from their bodies in shipment just because they're, they're fragile, they're butterflies. But I'm going to give it a go. But if, if for whatever reason you're the person that buys this and it does not make it to you in one, like, I'm not worried about the glass breaking. Just there's no way to cushion the wings. There's no way to get inside of here and bubble wrap the wings. So if a wing does come loose and you receive it and it's loose, of course I will refund you, no questions asked. I just wanna say that because you never know with these butterflies. Um, that's why I don't sell them on my eBay or anything like that because they are just so, so incredibly delicate. Um, but please note that there's no, you don't have to worry if it, if that is a problem, I will be completely honest and refund your money and you don't have to ship it back or anything like that. So I just wanted to let you know and then here's the back. So cool. I love these. It's pretty large too. And look at how pretty it looks because it's clear, clear glass on the back. So whatever color your wall is, it comes through. So it kind of like blends into your wall, but also pops out. I just think that's really cool. And there is some scratching on the frame. Again, I didn't hide that. That would be so easy to fix with some um, wood polish. That's all you need. It'll fill in those little scratches, no problem. But again, I try not to do that because I don't ever want it to look like I'm hiding a flaw. So I jibber jabbered a lot on this piece, but I just really like it. So I'm going to start cutting it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fit in. Fit in. Fit like in. It. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Excuse me, I got to sneeze. God bless you, Ariana Lula. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you, Brigia. Brigia, I know I keep telling you how grateful I am you're here, but I hope you really understand how much I mean it. I, I wouldn't know what to do without you. Arian, my girl, congratulations. I'm going to see if I can find a rock to send you to. I'm going to try my best. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Arian. Thanks, love. How many we got? One, two, three, one, one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I can't count. Six. And then we're done. I'm gonna miss you guys. Ha ha ha, she rocks. Get one. Aww. Here, here. 17. Number 17. Okay, this is so funny to me because I did my preview for this sale, like, what, Sunday? And I, and, um, I was watching Misty and Michael sale today and she sold this exact same teddy bear. I couldn't believe it. Like out of all the teddy bears in the world, Misty sold the exact same teddy bear that I was selling tonight. I just thought that was so crazy. I mean, exact. And it's not like something you can just go to Walmart and buy. And yet we found the exact same teddy bear and fell in love with them. Look at this little chonker. I love his eyes. And I cannot believe how good of condition he is in. Now, I love these torn, tattered, stained, ripped. I like them all the ways they come. But this guy looks like you just bought him from the Dagum store. He's gonna start at $15, but he's got 
his original little felt eye pieces right here, a lot of times these are missing. His eyes are nice and clean. They're not all scratched to death. Like they're still very clear. You can see through them just perfectly. He has his original little plastic nose still on his face. His little felt mouth. Boop, look at it. Like, you know how easy that would have been to tear off from a child? Like that would have been nothing at all to just go black. But he like was never played with. And he's so, look, look how big he is. I love him. I love him so much. And his color is excellent. It's this like beautiful royal blue. And there's no uh like loss in his what do you call this fur in his fur no thinning and he's got a white torso and white yellow paws and white feet and white ears and he is like extremely well made like he's not all floppy he's just such a handsome man how tall are you handsome man i'm gonna choke you out for a second He's 27 inches tall. That's a tall boy. And he's 12 inches across. He's cute. I love the shape of his eyes. He's so cute. I love him. Look at him. I just want to, he's so snuggly, wuggly. I love you. Okay. I'm sorry. It looks like you have to live with me. I I'm so upset about that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. He's one of those things I didn't really want to get rid of anyway, so it worked out well. Mr. Teddy Bear. I'm sorry no one else loves you, though. I think you're very cute. You can come for dinner. He's going to join my bunny. You're going to oh, be my bunny's pal. Oh, that bunny. Oh, I'm buffering. Oh, no. So I don't know if people really don't like you or if I'm just buffering. We'll just pretend you're buffering. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll put you down for now, Mr. Man. Well, did we not? Oh, yeah. We'll wait and see what happens. And then if anybody has changed their mind or something, we'll know. Yeah. Let well, me know if I'm still buffering. Yeah. Is, can anybody uh, type in if we're still buffering? Oh, look. Oh, Laura. Aw. Uh, I think he would be cute. I was just getting used to the fact that I was caping him. But no, I'm glad he's going to you if you love him because he's so cute. And he's so such good condition. Are we still buffering, y'all? Yeah, let me know. Am I, are we backwards? We're fine. You're fine. Oh, thanks. We're for good. Your... I'm sorry, just nobody wants you. I um, just think he would be cute. cute for Easter, too. I know. I love him. <laughs> so Actually, I, I would use, put him in a little little vintage rocking chair and just have him be... I'm just going to... I would just snuggle him. You would just snuggle him? i just snuggle him. Off and on. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Oh, well. Next week, we won't have this problem in my new office. Whatever. All right, Mr. Teddy Man. Without me. <gasps> Laura says she's going to keep you safe. Yay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting him down. So we got 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. I miss having a baby. 3. Two, I'm getting baby fever. Thank One. God. My baby, I can barely put, like, pick her up anymore. It's breaking my heart. <laughs> I used to just be able to, like, boop, on my hip. And now she, she's bigger than me. I swear. Well, get me another baby. Okay, I'll hop right to it. Gotta go, guys. My mom's making a really s specific request. Can I have the teddy bear for a minute? Yes, you can have Mr. Noodles. That's his name. Noodles, Mr. Noodles. Mr. Noodles. He's very cute. Thanks. Well, we so, don't know if it's a he or she. It's, I just told you, it's Mr. Noodles. Oh. Thank you, Laura. I love him. I love him. Congratulations, so Laura. Okay. His nose is so cute. He has little orange red nostrils. I know. He's so cute. Vintage kitty. Did you say kitty? That's her name. Thanks, oh, dear. Oh, I thought you were calling the bear a kitty. No. Miss Kitty, Laura Kitty, Laura Grimes, a.k.a. Kitty Vintage, won him. We haven't picked any of, like, the big pieces yet. And it, there's some cold... Ugh. Oh, she's going to keep his name Mr. Noodles. Oh. <laughs> I love like that. What number did you pick? I picked number eight. Which is? Candlesticks. Now, don't y'all get all excited now. They're not loose sight, but I like these better, to be quite honest. I like them. 
Congratulations, Laura. These are also coming from my personal collection. Aww. Surprise, surprise. Aw. You know, my dad, when I was in my mother's uterus, do you know he wanted to name me Sprocket? My name was almost Sprocket. I don't know if any of you ever watched Fraggle Rock. It was almost named after Fraggle Rock? Yeah, it was a great show. But to be quite honest, I mean, Ariana's cool and all, but if my name was Sprocket, like, you should have at least given that to me as my middle name. I didn't. That would have been cool. Ariana Sprocket. I love that. All right. These are starting at $12. You're going to get the candlesticks and the bases. And the Let's start on the candlesticks, shall we? These are antique wooden candlesticks with gold gilding. Maybe. around there now they they are worn i do believe them to be french i got them at scott's antique market in atlanta georgia it's a traveling antique show that comes to town once a month it's coming this weekend oh i'm so excited now they don't have their little wikis but they're so cool here's the bottom and i love that color it's one of my favorite colors so those are the candlesticks. And then the bases are these. Look how pretty these are. What did these start at? They started at $12 for the sticks with the candle holders. They're in very good condition. No chips or cracks. They've got this beautiful etching detailing all the way around. And I just think they make these and this together. It's just very elegant and very pretty. So mother, will you hold out your hand? Thanks so much. Jeez. Scares me. Why? Just hold it. They do stand on their own, but adding a little bit of tin foil into the bottom <clears throat> will help them stand up straighter. But they do stand up straight as long as you don't jostle them like we are. But you're going to get the pair. Stop it. Candlestick. <laughs> okay, you're not. We're not. No, 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 just no, not no, a thing. no. But they're so pretty. And I just love this color. I love it. And I love that it's chippy and cracky. I love everything about it. And then I'm going to show you these. So how tall are these, Mom? Can you measure them? Do, is the whole thing? Well, just the candlesticks. 12 inches? Yep. 12 inches and then the... 12 uh, inches. The thing, the... And these two can probably work as a riser. Flip it upside down. With a cupcake on it. Oh, yeah. man. You could put a cupcake on it. You could double up a candlestick. Ta-da! All sorts of options. But this would make a cool pedestal. Oh, I must be hungry. So use it as a riser. So cute. But they're really pretty. And I'm going to show you the detailing one more time. And it is etched. It's etched on the bottom. Really pretty, pretty. I don't know who makes these, but so pretty. So Karen is saying it looks like um, Fastoria. Fastoria. And she and Bree says that she thinks it's 1940s. I don't candles. doubt it. They're beautiful. They really are. I. And that's why I put them with these because these are so elegant and they almost appear like a French style in and of themselves because they're so ornate. And then paired with the wooden French candlesticks, I just feel like these look so good together versus like if I stuck a pair of loose like candlesticks in here. Like I take a marriage between candlesticks and candlestick holders very seriously. And I just think these needed to be married because they're just so pretty and elegant together. Bonjour. 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 All right, I'm going to go ahead and start counting these down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. They are very Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. Let me get this for you. Bid end. Bid end. Let me get one at a time. Oh, oh watch your step. Why? There you go, my dear. So I see Leah, Leah A. Do you go, is it Leah? Am I saying that right? Leah A. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you love them. They're beautiful. Sweet peaches, don't forget I used PayPal under my husband's name. I won't, I, I took a mental note of that, although my mental notes tend to leave me often. Mm. It's okay, Mother. Thank you so much. Oh, I just threw it in there. You pulled the cap in. I did. 
I can't believe we're like saving all these big. I swear we're not. I cheated a little bit on the first one, but I threw it back in there. I can't believe we haven't drawn it. Go ahead. Congratulations, Leah. Lee. Lee. Thank you, Lee. And thank you for correcting. I apologize. As I had said before, the the messages stuff is so tiny for oh me. Oh my gosh, the ending of this show is gonna be epic if we don't draw these numbers. Y'all don't go nowhere because the last two pieces are the best one. 25, which is it? The zebras. Careful, careful. You're bidding on the pair, okay? Not choice, you're bidding on the pair. The paper towels, Mom, are in that cabinet on the top, top shelf. If you need some. Um, look at this zebra. These are gonna start, I don't know if I said, sorry, we're going through a bit of a, a dilemma over here in the, the Ariana cottage. But you're gonna get the pair. Look at that gold detailing on this. It's so mid-century, so well done. He's not marked. They're gonna start at $12 for the pair, start. Excellent condition, let me double check. No chips, no cracks. And when I bought him, I did pay up for him and he was in a glass case. So he's not beat up at all. Look at that paint, it's so good. And then you're gonna get it this one. Look at this one. This one is just so masculine to me. Like he's just like, <clears throat> like I just feel like he's the boy, the boy zebra. And look at those spots, it's gold um, sponge dotting. And this one is marked made in Japan on the bottom. Also in very, very good condition. Beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. But just look at them together. They're so cool. This one is especially at first, I was just gonna sell this one by himself because I just think he's so, I don't see zebra stuff, right? And the gold paint is in like excellent condition. But then I got this one from Misty and I just felt like they needed to be together. So they're going together. But this one's really the, the grand one. This one's cool too, but I really, really like this one. I couldn't reach it. It's okay. But, and he's got those beautiful pink airbrushed ears. Very, very good condition. His tail's never been broken or repaired. I really like these. But I'm gonna start counting these down. 15. 14. I forget that you do that. Uh, do you not want me to? No, you're good. I just forget. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Bid end. 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 Wow, those were popular. I I just I thought that was the coolest looking zebra. I like him a lot. And I didn't get to hear anything about him. I didn't know much about him. He's, he's beautiful. Thank you, Ragdoll. Congratulations, Ragdoll. I love them. They're very cute. Very cute. Very cute indeedy. All right, we've got three items left, guys. Okay, I have to see. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got all three. You got all three? No yeah. cheating. No cheating. I, I just want to see what it you is. You got all three? I see him. I know. Okay. I know. I don't know which what number. If you draw that one, I'm gonna freak out. Thirteen. If you left the two real big daddies for last, and you did, you drew the two big daddies last. You've had this in your own collection for a long time. Yep. This is from my personal collection as well. And I don't know how you guys feel about these pieces. I mean, no disrespect with me selling it. I hope you don't take any offense. Um, but I just think they're beautiful. Um, and I have nothing but the biggest respect for these pieces. So please know that. So mm. if it does <laughs> upset you, please know that my intentions are good and that I love these pieces. So this is gonna start at $8. This is a vintage or antique. I'm not quite sure of its age. It's not dated. It is marked Italy on the back, but this is a, we'll just say vintage for the sake of saying vintage, rosary with these beautiful pink iridescent beads. And it's got, I believe that's mother. Is that not mother, Mother Mary? No, that's Jesus. I think that's Jesus. And then this is Mother Mary on the back. And then here's the cross. 
But look at these beads. Oh, and they're not, they're not cheap beads. They're beautiful. Excellent condition. There's really no oxidizing to the chain. There is some oxidizing to this cross, but that's what made me like it more. Cause I think it's like tragically beautiful, but look at how it sparkles. I mean, you probably wouldn't wear it as a necklace. I'm just doing this so you can see how these stones glisten in the light. It's just such a beautiful piece. And I like to have these just kind of draped, you know, around something, like something really dainty. Like if you have a favorite book that you like to display, just kind of sit these. Oh, I just think they're so pretty. Beautiful. Just so, just so pretty. You've had that a long time in your personal collection. Yeah, I kind of collect them. I think you've had that since high school. I just think they're so pretty. Oh, Plug Man's upset. But yeah, I just think, it's really pretty. That's all. I just wanted to bring it because I wanted to share it. And it's just really, really pretty. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Bit end. Bit end. That one brings back a lot of memories to me. It's so pretty. But I remember about when you got that. I do. Arian. Oh, Arian. Congratulations. Congratulations. This one has been with Arian a long time. I hope you love it like I loved yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I have my husband's grandma ro grandma's rosary. And that thing, I got to show you guys. Let me, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab my husband's grandma's rosary real quick. Yeah, Arian, I'm glad that you got this, honey. She, she, you know, she, Ariana told y'all she started her uh, first DNP group when she was 16. And I think that's, I feel that that's about the time she, she got this. That's very, very sentimental. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to miss y'all next week. I'm going to, I'm missing out on a lot. She's going to have a replacement. She won't tell me who it is. I'm, I'm a little concerned. Look at this modest little rosary. I wear this as a necklace. It's just so tiny. You can barely see it. But I love this. It's so beautiful. But yeah, this is my husband's grandma's rosary. But look at it. It's just so small. Like you imagine walking to church with it, like nothing to see here. Just my little rosary. But it's so beautiful. I love it. I just want to show you guys that. Isn't it pretty? I love the fact that it was his grandmother's. Yeah, I will never get rid of this. Oh, Judy says we will miss you, Kathleen. Yeah, I will miss you, girl. And I'm a little cons concerned that she's having me replaced and she's going to be in the new office without me for the first Maybe. Thing. We got to see about the paint. All right, there's two left, and these are the two, like, like showstoppery pieces. It just worked out that way. 14. I swear there was no cheating, except for we did pull the fairy lamp very first thing. So I did, like, five and then threw it back in there. But what number? 14. But, again, this was on my preview. If you follow me on Instagram, I found a fairy lamp. I don't find fairy lamps. And if I do find a fairy lamp, I'm kind of particular. But I thought this was beautiful. And I'm going to, whoever gets this, if it sells, if it doesn't sell, that's fine. But if it does sell, I'm going to try to get this to you um, by Valentine's Day. So... Buy this for yourself for Valentine's Day. You know, who needs a man or who needs a woman? You know, buy yourself. Okay. But it's Fenton. This is going to, oh, I want to show you one thing before I say what it's going to start at. When I bought this, of course, I thought it was in perfect condition. It has one chip, very small and minute. You probably can't even barely tell, but you see how it's got these points. This one right there. Err, I hate that. Because I probably, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have paid for it what I paid for it if I had seen that. But it has this beautiful iridescence rim, kind of similar to a ring of fire. It's not old enough to have a genuine ring of fire, but it's beautiful. And this one says Fenton circa 1976-1977. And it's the Fenton Rosaline Heart Fairy Light. And this is going to start at $45. And another cool thing about this is it has its original Fenton sticker from 1976. And look how much this cost in 1976. $10. Oh By the way, thank you, Fanny. I want to go back.
back Nanny. to 1976 and buy all the Fenton Nanny. fairy lamps for $10. And look on the sticker, it's got a little um, glass blower right there. And it says $10 and then it's got the Fenton marking right there. I love the color. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful what, pink. What I really like is how these are so, so pale. The, the yeah, ash. it like really lightens up around here. Yeah, I like that how they do and that. And there's some really stunning detailing around the base. I love this, especially for Valentine's Day. I mean, I like it for any time of year, but on it, but this looks so pretty with a tea light in it because it would light up a really pretty pale pink color. Oh, my heart just fell in my butt. <laughs> But look at it. Would you just look at the anybody. detail in this piece? Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. And this is the big one. This is like, I wish I had a smaller fairy lamp to show you. You don't. But a standard fairy lamp is much smaller than this. This is a tall fairy lamp. This is eight inches. This is, let me show you by my head. So normally when you get like a Fenton fairy lamp, I mean, I'm sure most of you know about fairy lamps, probably more so than me, so really I shouldn't be saying much. But they're about the size of what this base is. So a, a standard Fenton fairy lamp is about this size. But this one is double the size. <laughs> a quarter of the night, my heart just fell in my butt. It did, it did. When I thought I was gonna drop that, oh my goodness. And I said last week you had a, a, a fairy lamp, that, that ceramic one? Yeah, the pottery one? The pot pottery one, I'm sorry. But one thing Ariana does do, and I think it's cool, that's why I'm saying it again, is she she had a, a fairy lamp that she, not this one, that she put incense in. So the Yes, incense. but if you do put incense in there, make sure you have a little, like an old tea light, like metal thing, and put that in there first, so that the, because the incense will stain your glass. And there it had, a, I left the sticker on it from where I got it at the antique store where it says Fenton. Rosalie Hart Fairy Lamp, circa 1976. It's very pretty. It is. I still love how they got the, the pink to lighten up. Yeah, the ombre. It's really, really ombre. pretty. Ombre. Thank you, big words. Yay. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting her down. So if you're interested, now would be the time to bid because it is going to go. So 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. Three, <laughs> two, one. Bid in. Bid in. I love it. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. I liked it. Ah, uh, y'all. Last item coming up. Last item and then the giveaway. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, good get. Congratulations. It's beautiful. And I will have that shipped out to you as soon as I can because I would love to, for you to have that. Yeah, please send your information as soon as possible. Because it's, it's... I might even ship that one out like first thing in the morning. Like I might send Ooh. just you your invoice first thing in the morning so I can get it to you like right before. Um, everything to my mom and daughter. So I buried her with my mom's cross. Aw. Okay, oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Last one. Oh, mom, would you like to draw it? Hold on. Okay. Number seven. This is the last item of the night, folks. And it's kind of big, kind of cool, kind of like it. Amberina swung vase. You know I have a swung vase garden in the back of my house. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think I, no, I, ha, I think I have one more, but it's clear. I don't have any other fun ones. Um, this one, before you bid, has an inclusion. It's not like, it's not anything that happened. Um, it happened in manufacturing. It's just one little like extra piece of glass that's set in the glass. It's not in, it doesn't go in the glass. It comes out of the glass. It's like maybe a little piece of glass from something else got stuck in this glass when it was firing. This is gonna start at, what number was that mother? Seven. At $25. And this is one of the taller ones I've seen. She's not a dainty lady. She's a large lady. She's pretty Right tiny. at 19 inches tall. 
She does fluoresce under a black light. <gasps> can, on... I, can I do it? Well, it's not going to show because the lights are too bright. But you can try. Okay. Do you see just a little bit? It's not going to show. But it show. does fluoresce around here. The rim up here. And the rim down here from the cadmium. I don't see any chips or cracks. But, you know, doesn't mean... That, that it doesn't happen. I mean, double, double check. And I will tell you that I did ship that really, really big fat uh, bittersweet vase. No problem. Fat Birds got it just fine. So hopefully this one will make it to you just as fine. But would you look at it? It's so pretty. Here and then I grew it myself in my swung, light, swung vase <laughs> garden. I grew it from a little, a little baby bud vase <laughs> all the way up to this. I had to go out and water it every day with cadmium. Isn't that cool? It's pretty. I have such an appreciation for these. I wish I had like a place to have them. Like Laura and um, Mary Beth, how they have them on her piano. That's oh, true. they look so good in clusters. I was watching, I saw they that. They just look, I mean, they look good like this, but, oh, and I also had someone who bought the, um, Oh, I can't remember your name, I'm so sorry. The like wavy one that I, I saw love last that week. I wavy one. With her collection oh my gosh these in like clusters look stunning well because they're all different just a little bit different obviously in height and width and stuff because they're swung yeah but they just look so good together yeah. like a group of these very pretty oh yes on a mantle oh and like how barb has them in color coordination oh did you see her when she had her sail behind her oh it yeah. looked so good i did it looks so good. And this is so pretty. It's a pretty it's color. It's a big one. You, it would be so pretty with just a long stem red rose or a long I just stem like them yellow. empty, honestly. Like, I mean, of course, if it's yours, put whatever you want in it, but I just like an empty bread swung sticks. face. Because why would you want to cover this? This is the most well, beautiful it, part right there. If you put breadsticks in, it would only be temporary. Yeah, eat your breadsticks out of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to start counting this down. I really don't want to because I don't want you guys to leave. I love hanging out with you, but I guess we have to do what we have to do. I love hanging out with y'all, too. And we didn't cry tonight. You cried a little. I, Auntie Christy. <clears throat> she called you out. I thought you said you learned your lesson on that. Well, it was, I said it with affection. I, you know, mm, I she wasn't, said it with affection. No, Annie, Annie Christy teared me up. She's so... Sweetie pie. Just... Uh, Are you ready, Mother? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 15? 14. 13? 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bit end. Bit end. <sighs> oh, guys, I'm going to miss you. I have to wait a whole week before I see you again. Well, I'm going to miss y'all next week, and I'm going to miss the new office next week. And I'm I could come to your house and do the sale, Mom, and you can do it from your sofa. That would be kind of difficult wouldn't it? but you would be so funny because you'd be like all drugged up i would be drugged up it could be funny but then i know because then you'll get mad at me for hurting people's saying oh, are you just naturally a mean person no your no. meanness comes out with drugs no but missing the olympics has has given me an attitude look pummels of antiquities great sale ladies very enjoyable oh, nanny i enjoyed you. this thanks thank you thanks. nanny i called nanny fanny because oh. The, Aunt Fanny. No, I, my grandmother was, her name was Fanny, and we called her N Nana. So. Bree Gia, thank you so much. Bree Gia is keeping us on there. P's and Q's. I appreciate you, Bree Gia, so much. And I'm so sorry if we weren't as, like, great, like, uh, as Emotional. we normally are. We're just, she didn't feel good, and then I feed off of other people's en en energies. <laughs> it's my fault. Other people's energies. So her energy didn't, just, didn't, just didn't do it for me tonight. All right, where you're going to... Take the numbers. My energy oh, was there. was pretty good. Let's, let's give the, the people a round of applause and say thank you so much. We sold out. Uh, thank I, you guys. We have a really good community here and we love you guys so much. And I only just realized we sold out because I didn't have to take any numbers out. There weren't any, uh, there weren't any, uh, the only, uh, what you call this was me. D d Trolls? No. Pits. Choice. What? The choices were yes. Just mine, so don't draw yours. yours. No, I'm just kidding. No, I did something a little different. If we, so if you draw, if my mom, I labeled my mom's choices, choice one and choice two. So if you got one or two, it's gonna be the person who bid the high, like first. Does that make sense? It'll make sense. Okay, go ahead. Thank you, Casey May. 
darling. Oh, this is crazy. Number one, Deanna Travis. Congratulations, Congratulations Deanna. Oh, mom, your belly. I, my belly, I know, I don't know. Congratulations, thanks so much. And before I, we go, we go, I'm not the only one here. Would you guys guess something? I had no idea, my mom told me. Guess what? I hit 2,000 subscribers, which is crazy because I just did my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Ooh. So, my next video is going to be the, the mystery box. 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, I'm giving away another mystery box. Y'all heard it here first. So. You know, I couldn't be so any more proud of you. Moving just, on up, moving on. I say that, I'm just, I'm just proud of you, you know, for taking all this seriously and doing it ethically and with honor and- Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. I, I am okay, emotional okay. You're today. good, okay. But yeah. listen, whoa, that was a look. I don't, I know, I know number, I know numbers when you're a YouTuber are important, but to be quite honest, I don't really look at my numbers because, um, I don't want to be affected one way or another. I don't want my numbers to affect my content. I don't want them to affect my mood and I don't want them to affect my happiness. So I do what I love to do. And if people want to join in on that and subscribe, great. Come on. If they don't, that's cool too. But I just kind of try to avoid looking at my numbers because it's just, it can be, I don't want to put, rely my happiness on what other people think of me, right? Does that make sense? So I try not to look at them, but my mom told me I hit 2,000. So that's cool. I'm her mom. I, I check it sometimes. It's not like I'm on there 24-7 going, yeah, ooh, I am not. No, I'm just kidding. But that was crazy. So my next video I am posting will be a 2,000 subscriber mystery box giveaway. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I'll miss you next week. I'll miss you. You'll do great. No, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm actually Noggin. more sad that I won't be here with you. And, and I'll see you again. Well, I know. I'll see you again. Yeah, you will. Well, thank you guys so much. We just absolutely adore each and every one of you. We do. We thank you so much. For joining us at The, the Withering Cottage. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. The Cottage. Cottage. Bye, Yo, guys. Be safe. Be careful.